Good afternoon. Much more of a fitting time. Lost all track of it. Usually I don't wake. Usually I don't wake up too late. I mean, I'm not that like noon is late when you get home at six in the morning, but uh, you know, like that's sort of the way the cookie crumbled, I guess you could say. But uh, ladies and gentle people, mushy, mushy, good afternoon. We are live with Trails of Cold Steel 3 back in, still working on the cock. Still got that rocking. Where's my volume? There it is. Okay, it's probably too loud for the game, but that's okay. How was Elimination Chamber? I heard good things relatively about it. I didn't watch, but uh, I heard I hear good things. Good, good, good things happening. Toggle out said no. On the Ursula Road, the conflict of Crossbell continues as we uh, return to camp, or did we already do? No, we were. I think we're in the middle of like fighting and fishing and. All those fun things that, uh, you know, the hardest thing is, is finding, apparently now, curved monitors. It's a tough go. Return to camp. Is that really what we're working on? Is that really what we're working on? Let's, let's see. We got all those done. We got, oh, well, you know what? Maybe it actually is. How come, how come when I was streaming this before and I literally finished this and I feel like I'm at a moment of like, well, I, could have just went back to camp and then ended the stream because I feel like like it's not like it's gonna be an end of a chapter per se. But, uh, figured out. Okay. Well, I guess I guess that's where we're gonna go. Oh, well, gee, I didn't even realize that was Stargazer's Tower. Maybe we go back there. One of the best Elimination Chamber shows I have watched. Well, that's good. I, uh, maybe we'll uh, I will partake into this ugly, ugly fish who's just like, look, I, look, I didn't want to have a bad go, but, but we're going to have a bad go. So, uh, look, they're just, why do they look so angry? I can't figure that out. So, how was the weekend outside of, uh, watching wrestling? All the matches were good except for the Brock versus Bob. Did, all I, all I saw on Twitter in regards to that was that, uh, there was a low blow involved. That's... Uh, I guess, guess Brock Lesnar's, uh, you know, it's he's losing it. He's losing his touch. Maybe if that's it, I don't know if it is. No. Oh, I'm really, I'm really loving just a little bit of the the touches here and there from from everybody. It's it really is a nice little touch. Okay, that guy's not gonna do anything. Everyone's broken in it's some way, shape, or form. Just just knocking them out with their socks yes. coming off. It's it's great stuff. <laughs> A triple break. A triple break. There it is. It's down. Yeah, Brock did a low blow on Bob. Now, did the referee catch it? I, I'm sort of like, because then I saw he, he f 5 the referee afterwards, and then I was confused even further uh, by what was going on. But um, that's funny. I was just reading something about, like, that uh, Sami Zayn should have probably won. But I feel like... It's my turn. I know Cody Rhodes came out and said, like, Let's be off, everyone. you wouldn't mind if Sami Zayn was, like, you know, like, they turned the, the the WrestleMania match into, like, a triple threat match with, you know, Sami, Roman, and Cody. But I feel like Wrestle, especially with Cody back, I feel like they're trying to go back to just, like, a, a traditional main event match, you know, especially if it's... If the story is gonna come out in the end and, and be all together of like, look, this is this is this is his his WrestleMania moment as you as you call it. Doesn't need to be strictly thrown with a bunch of other people uh, involved, I guess. I don't know. But, um, okay. Yes. Yeah. The, I mean, of course, it was it was still in Montreal, wasn't it? If I go and watch the show. Some good stuff. I I will probably you know go and watch wrestling. Uh, dot I am or whatever and catch it or something or it's funny sometimes sometimes let's go you can go on the WWE yeah. network and catch some of the those yes. that just happened they're very weird like I always try to go to WWE network and see Too if like you know like, I don't care oh with ads I like here watch them <laughs> Night Raw is in Ottawa yeah I must Ottawa onwards. I mean, not Ottawa is a terrible city but Usually they do not stick around. Oh, I just took a puck to the head. Um, usually they don't stick around in, in Canada like 
that long per se. Like they, they've they've been starting to get a little better um, over time, but like for me, like three straight shows in in Canada or was it four? Like uh, like because you had you had Raw and SmackDown, I assume, in Montreal. Wait, did you have Raw and SmackDown and Elimination Chamber in Montreal? And then another Raw in Ottawa? Like, because they're very close by. They're about a four-hour drive or, a, like, a, a half-an-hour flight for Roman Reigns. Um, How does this suit no, just SmackDown and Chamber. Oh, okay. I was under the impression they did them all, uh, you know, chance. at the... Too slow. You know, I, I'll make sense when I get it, so... I'm uh, up. Yeah. We'll get there. It's my turn. Yeah. A poor fish. He's he's out of water. He doesn't know what's going on. You know, and we're we're Wait, just we're just me. vibing here, and oh, it's, it's gonna happen. Wait, so I can attack this guy, murder him, or if I attack this guy, oh, because he's gonna get a turn, but he's not gonna get a turn. But I would like, <laughs> never mind. Just, just shut up, George. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It's my turn. Sit. Well, you got the three BP. Unfortunately, you guys don't do the whole BP thing. It's not its not like your vibe type thing. But, uh, by the way, Jeff is going to finish Cold Steel 4 on Friday. Very good for him. Very good for him. How does he know he's going to finish it on Friday? How how, how can he be so sure? I'd be so... For, unless, like, he's having, like, a, a solid, like, 12-hour stream or something. You no, know, I, I could see that being the possibility, obviously. Like, I mean... If you know like, you're at like sort of the final battle and you're like, okay, like I'm going to set aside the day, you know, it's sort of like, I guess, like me with Metal Gear. I know I have a couple of acts left, but I don't know how long they are. Look at that. Um, but, you know, I'd, I'd like to finish it in a day. But he's in the final dungeon towards, okay, yeah, I guess, I guess he's played Cold Steel long enough to know whether or not uh, he'd be near the end of something. Um, return to camp. Yeah, we're, we're you've sort of limited me into this small little area of what we can and can't do, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a ride. It just looks so funny to see Kurt in the sidecar. I mean, I didn't think he was going to be like Yuna's bitch, but uh, this little horrible butt, horrible butt, horrible butt. Oh, who is going to be watching us from afar? Somebody. Oh, God. No, the worst name ever. <sighs> the worst named villain ever in a video game. Uh, he's just looking to have a, a McDonald's sandwich named after him. And he's a little upset that they went with a McSpicy instead of a uh, McBurn. You know, look, if I was running a restaurant, I would not want people to think that they're going to burn their mouths on a hot chicken sandwich. So uh, McSpicy is the way to go. That Ash and Kid and Kruger, huh? Not bad, I guess, but I think I'll just focus on the target for now. So who's your target? One of these plants? I'll leave those pain-in-the-ass experiments to him. Things are gonna get interesting if our masked friend starts moving, too. Our masked friend? Interesting. You forgot his first name, DJ. Mick. Mick Firebo. Today's a holiday, right? How dare the American government take uh, Washington's birthday and Lincoln's birthday, and instead of giving you two separate birthdays to celebrate, they mash it all into one. How dare they? How dare the American government do that? As if you don't, as if you don't have enough holidays, right? Um, why did he tell us to ride ahead of them? What could they be talking about? Secrets. Something secret, no doubt. See, all it. I mean, I agree. It is concerning, but. Please keep the bike steady, Yuna. <clears throat> oh, right. Yeah, I forgot. I'm driving a bike. Riding? Steering? <clears throat> oh, the wind just feels lovely. Riding along? Just the two of us. Oh, I mustn't tell Lady Elisa she would ever be so jealous. I don't think it's quite that big of a deal, but that aside, you can tell me. Hmm? You said you wanted to ride alone with me. There was something you wanted to talk about, right? Something you don't want the students to hear. No, something you don't want Elisa to hear. You truly have grown a lot. Yes, it is exactly as you say. I came along to help because there was something I wanted to tell you. Does it 
have something to do with the Aurora Borealis? In part, yes, but what I wish to tell you is the tale of a girl. A small girl given the title of Severing Chains. Sounds like we're getting a backstory. A girl who was empty. There was an assassin's organization that had existed since the Dark Ages. The Order of the Moonlight Horse. Weird name. At the young age of 13, the girl was its second most skilled member. The only thing she had were her title, which had been passed down to her, and the designation, Kruger. She spent her days simply carrying out her missions with soulless eyes. An emotionless assassin doll. An ass doll? Then one day, the order met its end. At the hand of Ouroboros. I'm gonna assume they just sort of melded together then, maybe. I mean, she seems like she's maybe like mid-30s, if that. At the time, the society was still in its early days. Yeah. And the two groups were in full conflict behind the scenes. And then we're like, hey, would you like to join over on this side? You know, we have cookies, dental plan. And we're like, yeah. And how about a 401k pension? RSP as it's called in Canada. But against the combined assault of the almighty conflagration, the Blade Lord and the Steel Maiden. Who again, we have not heard much about the Steel Maiden. The Moonlight Horse stood no chance. They were nearly completely destroyed. Its members, known as the Thousand Oathbreaker and the Golden Butterfly, became the fourth Anguis and Enforcer Number Three, respectively. Okay. While the empty girl was welcomed into the society as Enforcer Number Nine. But even after becoming an Enforcer, the girl's life did not change. She obeyed the requests of the Anguis. Performing many missions. See, I would say that would be the Angui, but Anguis? Okay, I, I I can live with that. She was always free to refuse, but as she knew no other way of life, she simply accepted. Could you imagine you're just working for Ouroboros? They keep giving you missions, they're paying you your salary every month or whatever, and uh, you're just like, nah, that mission doesn't really sound uh, good enough for me. And they say, ah, you know what, we'll find one for you, we'll find one. And they just forget about you, and you're just... Living the high life. But it was through that bleak existence that her bond with the Reinford family came to be. Hmm. The girl was given a mission by the Sixth Anguis to infiltrate a city named Ruhr in the northeast part of the Empire. The mission required her to meet with a certain person, but a terrible accident occurred. The mission ended in failure. The girl suffered serious injuries. And the other person lost their life. But who was this other person? That person was Chairman Arena's husband. Lady Elisa's father. There it is. Master Franz Reinfurt. Like, were you sent there to kill him? And then an accident occurred? But what happened? <laughs> Yet Lady Arena saved the girl, the one whose actions resulted in her husband's death. She even gave her a name. I had never had a name before then. Well, you did, but it was a mouthful. Kruger was simply a designator to differentiate me from others who have held the same well, title. I was talking about the uh, you know, enforcer number nine, but... Uh... One would simply change their name as the mission required. That was the way of the order. I've yet to run into someone in the Order who has changed their name depending on the mission. Every single one of them has the exact same name, because we know them. But Lady Arena gave me the name, Sharon. Sharon! Want a show? Do you deserve one? Yeah. What show would you like? Suddenly, um, this empty girl had a place so to belong as a maid of the Reinford family. Trying again? I will try it again. Just it might. They'll probably just go um, on. What's that, that button? Oh. Hold on. Daddy's just got to do it again. You like chippies?
There you go. What show do you want? Since that point, I have continued to serve the right. Oh, what show you want? While still belonging to Ouroboros. This one? And which one? The duck one? Dinosaurs? Alright, there you go. Dinosaurs it is. I was able to do so thanks to the freedom the society grants its enforcers. All of that? Why tell me that? Why now, of all times? Elisa doesn't know any of this, right? <laughs> I simply felt this was a good opportunity. Did you see what I mentioned in Discord, DJ, about, um, I'd come across about the anime thing. What's his name? Sean, Sean Chiplock? It, it looks like the, the, they couldn't come to an agreement with the union to use any of the unionized voice actors, so... It's funny, I, I caught this on the subreddit, and that's probably where you didn't get that. Um, but then everyone's losing their mind because now they're worried about, because it's, even though they're not the same company that's doing the anime as to the game, but everyone is like, well, what's it going to happen with the game then? Like, because I, I think this is, there's a lot of this going on. I don't, like, this is sort of the problem of, like, I even remember, like, not, I don't know if that was a, a union deal. But, like, I just remember the same was, like, you're, you're only as good until they can replace you. Um, and that's, you know, and, and whether it's someone is going to bring more money to it or they're going to be cheaper. Like, I don't understand. Like, I guess the voice acting thing, I don't understand because. How, did they not? Did he not start doing the work of the anime? Like, I don't like that was my that was like I'm trying to understand if, if he started to do it because I haven't seen it. But like they're at like episode five, so I, that's why I'm confused. I'm like I, it would make sense that he hasn't done it. Like they probably want to go try to get him, and then I, the other thing I don't understand is why he doesn't just say it's a union issue. Um, Altina didn't mention it. Triplock didn't mention. It. There was one other one I thought um, maybe they they just do a few voices or whatever, but they, they just say oh you know it couldn't it couldn't really work out for us. Oh he does not come in until episode five. So like. Now, I guess the problem is everyone's been watching it, expecting him to come in, and then in episode five, it's not him, and now he's going to sound weird or different, right? Someday, when you feel the need, please tell Lady Elisa. But uh, I, as far as I, I know or from reading is because the anime is done in Japan, they don't have to follow the, what I'm assuming is an American rule of, if they want to use American union voice actors or something, and they just chose not to. I, I, that's the take I got from it. For you see, there is the possibility that I may not be there for her. Obviously, they come at a far bigger cost. You're watching it subbed and dubbed. <laughs> it is merely a possibility. It is absolutely impossible for my love and devotion for the chairman and my lady to ever leave me. Oh, but of course, if you and Lady Elisa were to become a couple, I would serve you. Hey, look at that, personal maid services. Like, the only thing I, 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 we talked about this with the Bayonetta woman, and I don't think Sean Chiplock is gone this route. That's why I, everyone has assumed it's just been a, a simple union issue. They don't want to work with a union, and they went outside of a union to get voice actors. It's, they're allowed to do that. Um... But the, the, the Bayonetta chick, you know, went on Twitter and said she wasn't getting paid properly, which then was proven wrong. She was paid properly. Um, she was offered standard unionized rates. She didn't like them. And then she was offered more and still didn't like them. And then she went and basically called them out on um, and tried to boycott them on Twitter. Like she went that way, the wrong way. And then they went and got Jennifer Hale, who is a far better voice actor than, um, I think her name's Taylor or something? Something along those lines. Anyways, so it's just like, you shot yourself in the foot, and I don't think he would do so. He probably realizes he's got a good thing, but I don't know. Well, that's uh, quite the tempting offer. Thank you, though, for sharing something so important with me. You've taken care of me. No. 
all of us in the old Class 7 for so long. From our everyday life in the dorm to the crisis during the Civil War. So if there's anything I can do to help you, please don't hesitate to ask. Me and the other members across uh, Class 7 and, of course, Elisa will always be there to help. Masterine. <laughs> you truly have become dependable. However, for you to say all that to an older woman such as myself is a tad unfair. Perhaps I should begin serving you as your own personal maid right well, now. Well, hey now. What, what kind of personal t effects does that come with? All right, I think that's enough temptation for the time being. One thirty p.m. The following takes place between one twenty and one thirty p.m. I didn't expect Scarlet Pleroma grass. No doubt about it, but it's the same grass from two years ago. Color's completely different, though. You're right. The size and shape are the same. That grass holds the same mysterious energy that supported former President Kwa. Do you feel the presence of the higher elements here, too? Yeah, definitely. And just like the forest in Sutherland. How this cryptid. And Sothra. It's just like the ones that appeared in the old schoolhouse's basement in the Nord Highlands. That on top of the magic night means that creatures from the Empire are appearing here now, too. Sharon, I'm just going to come out and ask you. Can the society do anything like this? Uh... Well, let's see. I should say the possibility is not zero. But that said, the society generally has a tendency to pursue orbital technology. would be a bit strange for them to suddenly begin using spiritual monsters such as cryptids and dark age constructs like magic knights. I see. Thank you. I just feel like I just heard some incredibly confidential information, but very well. The question remains then, why is Scarlet Paloma Grass appearing now? Is it possible that this is the result of the Zero Child? Though she's in hiding, perhaps her Hermaculous power is manifesting again. No way! It's been confirmed she no longer has that miraculous power. The intelligence division made sure of that right after the occupation. Her and Lloyd were made into material witnesses too. And besides, I know her, and she's not the kind of girl who would do these things. Her personality is irrelevant. There is a chance her powers have returned and currently out of her control. But that's... Well, I'm certain Kia Bannings has nothing to do with this. He name dropped. Huh? Kia Bannings. So that is the name of the girl known as the Zero Child? Yes, though her surname is still up for review. She's using the name since she doesn't have any family of her own, yeah? I mean, but how can you be so sure she's not involved? We're contacted by the Governor General just now. It was very clear we had absolutely no need to worry about the Bannings at this time. He's requested we investigate the cryptid and the grass under the assumption the society's involved. Such a request. Well, thank goodness. He should have just told us that when we saw him. They know something? Why did this have to happen at the same time as the inspection team's visit? I feel like there's a coinky thing with the happening at the same time. It feels more like a simple co See? Me and Sharon are on the same page. Yeah, now they can mention it. Has the inspection team already entered Crossbell? Oh, yeah, about that. That's... Sounds like engines running, but that means airships. Everyone, I'm gonna go greet our guests. Either that or they all have their own robots. 
which is also a direct possibility. Pretty. Now, are they like in like Star Trek? Do they just beam down? I mean, I've been on that ship. I think so. Wow. That's something you don't see every day. That's the flagship used by the Noble Alliance during Bonerville's Sylvian War. Correct. The Pentagruel. I believe I heard it had been confiscated by the government and given to the Imperial family. Yeah, they use it to travel for official business. Wait a second. Does that mean the inspection team is... That's right. Governor Regnitz will be on the team as a representative of the Imperial government. And Lady Irina will represent the economic circles of Erebonia. And let's not forget, Princess Alfin and Prince Oliver will be on the team too. Sounds like everyone's coming on back for a little party. Life's good on that ship. It really is. You got the, you know, from kitchen, billiards room, the Imperial family's battleship, the Pantagruel. It could have come up with a better name. I'm not going to lie. Oh, Shalikard, how are you? I thought something was going to happen with that bell or something. Are you off today, my friend, to celebrate two presidents in one? Yeah, so yeah, so you're just like me. It's a, it's a holiday for us too, but I'm off today anyways, regardless. I wouldn't get the day off. As we speak, it's ferrying the inspection team to the tower's rooftop. Did you just come off night shift? Just wake up? Not going too bad. Just started up, got the coffee, about to get into the beer, and oh. Then we'll really start the stream. Carl, with a C. The entire imperial capital of the BK. is the first commoner to hold this position. Oh, and here we have the chairman of the Reinford group, Irina Reinford. It's safe to say there isn't anyone more important than her when it comes to Crossbell's economic industry. They just like fell down the stairs. No, you don't say. Oh my word, Princess Alfin! Uh, excuse me. Uh, behind Prince Oliver, we have Princess Alfin, the daughter of the Emperor. Well, she really dolled herself up. You didn't he, didn't he do the the mistake that everyone tries to avoid? Didn't he like trip going upstairs or something? It's embarrassing for anybody when you trip upstairs. Are you just going too quickly? It's still really funny. Well, it's funny to watch anybody, regardless of whether they're president or not, to fall upstairs. As long as they don't hurt themselves. I'll just... That's the princess. She's an angel. Prince is handsome, too. All right, relax, office worker. Keep it in your pants. I didn't expect to see Princess Alf in here. But it figures that your father would be part of the team, Machius. I mean, yeah. We didn't even know about the princess. It means we've fallen behind our information gathering. This trip has way too many unknowns. We need to shine a light through the fog if we want to have a successful inspection. What? 
what are they inspecting? I don't even think that that was like ever shared out as to like what they're like. Are they inspecting Crossbell City? Are they inspecting the tower? What are they inspecting? And they're making a big deal about it. But why are they getting all excited without Ellie? Exactly. Why are we getting all excited without Ellie? Where has she been? They're all nothing but weaklings wagging their tails for the Empire. We'll see that. I'll have pride in where we're from. And as Cal's proxy, you have your own duties to fill. <laughs> Leave it to me. Probably like the next game's protagonist in some way, shape, or form. Boy, look, look how pretty the princess is. She's cute, but <laughs> she's still an invader. <laughs> Tone, but maybe leaning closer towards a bad impression oh well nothing can be done about her arrival that inspecting question sound like uh but took free i think re-education is an oh could be i think we all just want a little better understanding you may be right but can i give up <laughs> it seems as though our guests have arrived the fool and the blazing demon should be nearby as well we have the worst security in Crossbell if these people are just stumbling around while these big, uh, you know, dignitaries are stumbling on through. The original cast has nearly all been swapped out by now. What will you do, Reen? You as well, Emma. Isn't 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 this Vita? But she changed her hair color. Maybe. Can grab a brew. We are back. And my son's sleeping. Galicard, what time does the brewing hour start for you in the morning? That big ship is scary. You're right, Momo. And right next to the South Park kid, the lonely deceased. Good morning to you. Well, you know, it's it's 2.48 p.m. But uh, I'll drink to somebody's morning. How about that? Is it safe? A, a war isn't going to break out or anything, right? I mean, whatever. Like, you know, whatever, right? Why, why did they dress that guy like... Kyle from South Park. What what is what is the meaning of such a thing? It's twelve forty eight here. One forty. Well, geez, look, I can't control everyone's time and everything. Okay, I'm not in charge of that. I'm not. Uh, I have no real power. Is what they say. Well, we're fine as long as we got Lloyd with us. We'll be able to stop it. Wait, Lloyd? Wait, where is he? Is it true? Are his dear friends all? Yeah, there's no doubt. Wow, streamer can't even control time. Kind of weak, to be honest. I, you're not lying. I, I'm very weak. Mysterious man wears gloves with a cat. Wow. <laughs> Still protecting this place, even if its residents are gone? Lloyd's got a new outfit. Well then, all we can do is wait for the snake's next move. I'm also curious to find out what the branch campus is capable of. It is Lloyd, right? That was the cat that was always the top of the SSS building. 
So did he get a hair? Maybe it wasn't him. Maybe not. I don't know who that was then. Cats without butthole seems creepy. You ever seen those things that you people buy to put on their cat's butthole to like cover it up like it's like a jewel or something? Straight up embarrassing. Now, Shalakard, you are also a streamer as well as DJ anime. Uh, can you guys control time? Because like, you know, if you can, I feel like, you know, you've been here long enough that you should be sharing your secrets with me. I'm a little upset that you're not telling me how to how to control time. Long live Princess Alphine, Empress of my heart. I didn't expect to see Princess Alphine here. Oh, and it's Prince Oliver. I haven't seen him in so long. Imperial Governor Regnans and Chairman Irene of the RF Group too. Well, this is shaping up to be some ritzy shindig, huh? As a uh, JR would say, folks, it sounds like business is about to pick up. Muse? Hmm. It's been quite some time, eh? I can control time, but if you don't know how, then you don't know, right? Yeah, it's more like, uh, if you know, you know type of thing, right? Well, I suppose I need to get used to seeing His Highness without my brother by his side. After all, by this point, the 7th Armored Division is... What's the matter? Is the sight not pleasant one for you? Yeah, it's true. This isn't very fun for me. How come Speaker McDowell isn't with them? Now, Speaker McDowell was um, Ellie's grandfather, who was the former mayor. So, yeah, like, sort of would figure, like, if McDowell wasn't there, where's Ellie? Mm. Somehow I figured Elise would be there, too. Well. Wow. Both her and the princes have become even more beautiful since I last saw them. Yeah, they really have, but I wonder why I wasn't able to contact her. By the by, are you going to meet up with Chairman Irina? I won't, but Sharon will be. Once I'm done here, I'm planning to accompany the chairman for the remainder of the visit. All I can do is sigh. Operation Birdcage, it's too weird to even say it out loud. To be honest... I may have taken the intelligence division and the railway military police a little too lightly. Is there really nothing we can do? Nah, don't give it up, Tio Tot. I'm sure we'll find something with a patented ring head pat. Randy? Yeah, just, just leave it there a little longer so it gets even more awkward. No telling how things will end up, but let's bet on them for now. Roger that. So a half an hour has passed by. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 2.15 p.m. Remember that big joke with the John Cena and uh, the Mad TV skit with Bobby Lee? Am I the only one? I mean, I know it was probably like 18,000 years ago, but... Afterwards, Elisa, Tio, and Sharon shared their farewells to Reen and the rest of the camp and headed back to Crossbell City. Boomer! No, wait, am I not, am I not a Zoomer? Surely I'm a Zoomer. Toe and Randy left to go work on each other's class field exercises. And we bid you adieu with a little bit of a curtsy. A curtsy. All right, let's get going. Be sure to check your equipment and find anything else you might need before we head on out. We should have time to make around in the city before we head out onto the East Highway. Oh, sure. Understood. Wait, so we're gonna go back into the city like everyone else? Why didn't we just follow them then? Hey, Altina, what's going on with these two? I have no idea. They started acting like this as we were watching the inspection team arrive. Is that so? I suppose they have their concerns, but... Okay, Class 7. We're gonna resume our special ops missions. Still need to investigate the cryptid appearance on the East Crossbell Highway. Based on how long the trip and that we had taken, the last activity for the day, so make sure everything is wrapped up before that. Right. We'll give it our all. And let's go. 
So now I now I've already lost all my my team members again. How dare I? I mean, do we go back into the train and have a shower? I feel like that's what we always do. What, I can't talk to Valimar? Wait, are, can I not go back in here? Are you kidding me? Weird. Heaven forbid I talk to Valimar by going into the side door where he's located. All right, there he is. We always have a chit chat with our, our friendly robot. Seems a cryptid has appeared. Wow. You're keeping up with the times, Valimar. I'm impressed you were able to do away with it so easily. I'd say Sharon played a major part in that. See, then I owe her my gratitude for allowing me to conserve my mana. We must now determine where they may appear again. If you ever feel you are in danger, do not hesitate to call for me. Valimar is certainly reliable. I haven't even used the guy yet. Blunt! Hey, you don't need no alibi, but your alibi. Hey, how are you? Okay. Get on up with Pablo. I'm sure he's got some things. Uh, what else? Oh, there's... No, wrong... No, Wrong button. Uh, did you ruin my tactics again? No, he didn't. Nice of them to keep my tactics going. Um, Pablo, hi. What would we like to talk about? Oi! Looks like Panzer Soldat maintenance is the main part of the afternoon's mission. Gustav's out, though, and I'm gonna be just me and Tita. Well, it's gotta give it all. <laughs> Thanks. Not even close with the... Uh, um, exchange? <gasps> Sabbath Mass. Now, see, now we're back to having money. Halfway through my manana, but uh, chugging along, how about you two? Well, you know, we're, we're doing well. Having a little fun. Things are going well. I can't complain. I'm on my uh, week off now, so a lot of streams in and uh, get things going on, so it's really an honor that even though we're both so busy, they really helped us out. I need to work hard to live up to their standards. Yes. Sure. Um, sluts. We got left. All right. So that's uh, that's doable. That's even better doable. Hmm. Do I do that just to just to get her done? Maybe. Yes. So that's maxed out. Yeah, that can be done. Right. Um, and any courts maybe to do? Poggies. Uh, what we we like poggy, right? Do we like pog? Yes. Poggy, poogies. Unlock those sluts. It, yeah, we did. Of course. Um, never has anything good to buy. Never any of that. All right. Now, our favorite time is when you guys, the chit chat, tells me what to put in for the sluts. Okay? So you, you just tell me what, what works for everything. Okay? You, you tell me. Morty. Yeah, setup time. Exactly. Now, I'd probably just put something in for Kurt, but, um, we'll figure it out. He's got a green spot. Um... Sluts, as many as possible. I mean, look, I, I'm getting it. So we got one left with her. Throw on. Um, I mean, she's our healer. So uh, can you open Kurt's second wind? What? What are you, what are you talking about, Kurt? Can you open Kurt's second wind slide? Uh, no, I couldn't. I was, I was, I was an idiot in... Didn't do it at the time. I should have, but I didn't. So, uh, in the next seventy-five hours, we'll we'll probably unlock that slot if that's okay with you. All right, let's let. Okay, we got we got one here just with. Uh, well, no, let's go. Let's go back. We were we were talking about this, so we're we, we we're working on this. The healer of the group. Um, she got some, she got basically all the heals. Um, 
which is basically really good for she could use some more, I think, honestly, some offensive skills. So uh, maybe that's it. They just don't know what to put there. You know, there's a there's a freeze three, but that's that's just not really anything for us. Uh, there's a heal. That would be good. That could replace nothing. Um, because I think we have the tier or Tira and Kyria from something else. So it sort of is a little bit of a waste of a spot. Um, breath, Breath R. These are even good. Eat up. What do, what do you do? Restore shit. If you want more offensive for now, just putting an earth or a fire AOE might be an option. That's, I think that's sort of probably what we're after, to be honest. Um, so like, what do we have? We uh, don't have really anything fire. Nemesis arrow is probably a good go since it is a line of Coke. Um, now it'd probably be best to put the R version. R and mates, right? Nemesis arrow R. Okay. Moving on to uh, Yuna, 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 Juna. She's the only one that needs one. So uh, she is uh, another just, she tells you like it is, right? Um, yep, shining, which is great. Um, you know, we can, we can up the defense for everybody. Got lots of good things happening here. I feel like adding in something that maybe does... Um, or you got needle shoot. Yeah, she's she's got a lot of options. So I'm thinking maybe more for strength purposes, or maybe acting more quickly. Um, just me talking out loud. A giant slab of rock imbued with ancient power. See that? Like that? You know, that could be okay. I don't know. Um, and then uh, I think is that for like I'm sitting here looking at crest or lack like so. That's for all people. And that's just for... Like, would I want to replace Lack Crest with Crest R? Do you have a Break Quartz? Would be good on her. Uh, the Fire Bolt R, uh, which is really nice, does not need a slot dedication since the Breen Master Quartz always has the Fire Bolt R in it. So you're saying we can get rid of Firebolt, is what you're telling me. Or keep the Firebolt. I think we have a break. Got a break one. I can just simplify it up there. La Crest gives 50% boost. Definitely Crest, even though it's R, only which is... Ah, I didn't... I. I didn't even see that. Okay. So are we, uh, yeah, can you make break two? I might be able to make a break two. Okay. I'll take a look at that, see if we can make one or buy one. Thanks. Uh, yes. Modify an orbment. No, I cannot. Just break ones for us there. Oh. There it is, right there. Two hundred, sure. Thanks. Good, 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 good yes. talk, everybody. All right. Thanks. Didn't take as long as we needed to, which is good. Oh, now we're gonna have a shower. If anyone would like to join Reen for a shower, we're gonna shower with our clothes on this time, so uh, oh, no, no hanky nice. panky can happen. Yeah, Yuna is really built for breaking heads, just like someone who uh, likes uh, her big stick. Wait, oh, oh, you don't mean she doesn't have, like, a penis. You mean, like, she she hits things with her tonfas that have guns out of them. I see what Blunt's talking about. You could replace Firebolt R with an attack course, like an, like an attack two or something. Because that's, like, what uh, Blunt was talking about, right? Because Brigid already comes with Firebolt. So having Firebolt are sort of pointless. An HP Quartz is never a bad idea, even uh, either for your melee characters. Yeah, she's uh, 
she's up there. So either we're looking at um, either an attack or or health. So, you know, we, we got an HP too. That's pretty solid stat boost right there. She does lose some strength. Like that's the one thing of like I'd like to not lose strength. Um. So if we're looking for more of that, or um, there's that. She doesn't really use too much of EP. It's only six strength, honestly. Yeah, I mean there, there's this one that doubles it up to twelve. Um, and gives us a, another support. Um, or there's just a basic attack one. We could probably make another attack too. Um, to get more strength. But if I was just like talking out loud, like that sounds not too bad to get 12 and get a, a restore CP out of it. What are you two yapping about? Sex? Hello, everyone. You have one area remaining to investigate for cryptids. Good luck. Heat up is good, but you have to remember to cast it in battle. Yes. That's fine. Things have settled down here, too, so what you need? So where is this inspection team heading? I'd like to know, too, if it's okay. They won't be going anywhere today. Tonight, they'll be having a special dinner at the tower. Though even if they have an effect on our missions, it won't start until tomorrow, then. Well, considering what happened last time, we should expect the unexpected. True. But still, no need for us to become paranoid. So we focus on your investigation for now? Well, we'll head out soon. Lots of people to chit chat with. Show book notes. I, I'll take a look. Okay, re re relax, Princess Leia. Don't have enough documents, actually. We don't have anything. Oh, oh, I forgot. She's like so into everybody over there, aren't you, Tatiana? Okay. Anyways, I have to get ready for the afternoon field exercises, repair operations for one of high ranking hacker attacks. Oh, you're on Cold Steel 4 too, as well, eh? Why don't you stream, Blunt? Unless you do, how did I not know this? And no progress since last time. Come back later. Louise and Tatiana are like machines with how quickly they go through our assignments. And Muse is clearly no stranger to this computer business herself. It seems like a lot of catching up to do. I'll take a look then. Okay, yeah, I remember I basically came to them just before we had gone over here, so. But you, you've got something I need to know about. I'd be afraid that, you know, if you were putting those pins right on top of those knockers, that they would just deflate the boobs. I don't want that happen. She's like a princess straight out of a children's fairy tale. Have you ever seen her in person, Muse? Well, you could say I've been up close and personal with her. What? Oh, I'm only joking. I had the opportunity to talk with her once, if only briefly. I see. Okay, no one believes you at all. Wait, was that? Oh, that's car. Oh, I'm the idiot. I am the idiot. All right, so we got some people to chat with, some some stuff to buy, maybe. <sighs> How small our group is. Experience a lot of things. Now I need to go work hard this afternoon. Please take your time. Yeah, really don't have anything take care. else. Um, how are we on the food ingredients? We're okay. See you again. Thought we found one extra seed. Did we not get one? I guess not. Why do they always just stand around here, just staring at everything? Aside from a few writing issues that were also in Cold Steel Three, I'm honestly having the time of my life in this game. I was trying to hold off on Cold Steel 4 until March when Azure released because I knew there was going to be a Falcom discount, but finishing Cold Steel 3 beginning of this month and then made me buy. So you're you're just like, since you're like me, I mean, I was I was extremely, um, 
lucky to have uh, some wonderful people uh, gift those games to me. And I, I, I'm so fortunate to have that. And I look forward to getting into it, but uh, I think I'm gonna have to take DJ's advice. Uh, much like you, like there, there's no, there's no waiting between these games. It's, it's you forget everything, and you don't want to forget everything. So uh, you, you just gotta go right into it. You know, just uh, you know, like with uh, you know, usually you want to have some lube in there, but you know, if it's if it just goes nick knocking in there, well, that's what happens. So we're gonna be doing the survival exercises in the forest, according to Instructor Randolph the most intense ones they put crossbill guardian force trainees through <laughs> hearing that only motivates me further what can i get you today uh okay i think we have all of these a rock tripe sure i was purposely playing uh other games instead of finishing cold steel 3 final chapter now it's only just delaying the inevitable yeah i mean <laughs> come again Fort survival. <laughs> Situations like this get my heart pumping a mile a minute. Because we're already going. Might as well stay in there an extra month or so. Ah, <laughs> I shouldn't get too greedy about it. Well, you shouldn't. Um, we literally have all the top ah, gear from them. What can I get you today? And doesn't have anything really to offer. No quartz yet ah, coming give from it a try. them. I ask. Not bad at all, Schwarzer. A blonde chick, your main squeeze. When you two reunited, you were both completely off in your own little world. But both of you need to focus on things here. If you don't concentrate, you could get hurt. When I streamed Cold Steel 3 in 2020, I finished it before Cold Steel 4 got released, so I had to wait like a month to play. And I've, and I've discussed this. Like, I think by the time, I probably won't be waiting like everyone else is to, to play Reverie. I'll probably be, like, right into it, which will be nice. But I just don't know if I... Maybe want like that month or so break before we just get into it. But then I forget everything, and then that's not what you want either. So he blatantly evaded the topic. Sure as hell did I. That's enough, guys. Looking out of this one, instructor. I don't think I am. I have a rough time getting my footing in the forest. I'll let me sure I don't get lost either. It sounds like we're in for tough field exercises. Unless you what can should make I enhance? A, make a new one. No. Be careful. Anyways, we're kicking off our field exercises up a notch in combat tactics this afternoon. Now that those inspection team people are here, it's time to refocus. If something happens to the VIPs, this branch camps will be looked harshly down upon. At any rate, we'll need to be prepared at all times. Yes, yes you will. I didn't think Prince Oliver and Princess Alfin would be here. With their arrival, the camp seems to be a little bit more driven and focused. Yeah, it is. Are we really going into the forest right now? Or every time we do this, it gets harder. Are you talking about your penis or are you talking about something else? I do actually stream, but it, only in small trails discord and some friends can watch me that we've already. Oh, wait, wait. What do you mean? You like you do you see so stream on discord? Is that the way that I'm sort of under? I know you can do that. I know you can share like your video on discord. That's actually interesting. That'd be a cool little way just to share with friends. That's cool. Good for you. Afternoon field exercises will be held on the east side of Knox Forest. If we find any scarlet pleroma grass, we got to make absolutely sure we exterminate it. If we need it, we'll switch on over to Panzer Soldat training. Uh, Randy? When they were welcoming the VIPs, I didn't see Speaker McDowell anywhere. Maybe the camera just didn't catch him? Anyways, if you run into any cryptids, please be careful. Push yourself too hard. Boy, he just, like, avoided that entirely. I'll try to find a day that works for you, DJ, because I am in your Discord as well. I mean, yeah, I mean, I I, I don't want to be barging on in and um, say things. Like, uh, a lot of the streaming time for a lot of other people, I, I myself also just sort of lurk just because it doesn't really... Uh, I'm either working at night or I'm, I'm, I'm you know, busy with the little guy. So I, you know, I try. That's usually why I stream during the mornings. Is it just works out time wise. But this this week I might get some uh, get some time to do so. So okay, so we're going to Station Street. But I think let's see if we can go to the Ursula Road too. This is where DJ tells me we could fast travel, and I tell her no. Enemy found. Begin suppression. 
I like to, I like to just walk around every once in a while. My turn. My turn. This right here, I, I swear, sounds like F Zero music happening. I'll assist. It sounds just like uh, like the, the first track in uh, I think like F Zero sixty four or something. The Vander style is impressive. I have a long way to go. I'm getting a little warm in here. I don't know why. It's like not even super warm. It's just like five degrees. In. What happens? You start streaming. You get excited, and you get all uh, get all hot and sweaty. Your knees get weak, and your arms are heavy, and then you end up vomiting your spaghetti all over. Something along those lines. It's 64 outside. Um, in metric terms, we need that, uh, DJ. I, I have no idea what you're referring to when you say 60. No, I do. That's 60. That's not bad. Aren't you guys supposed to get, like, um, either I read a storm or it's supposed to be, like, start to be, like, super bomby out and then maybe Canada gets the storm. I don't know. Drake is shaking with those bars dropping, Jordan, right? He should be, but he's, uh, he's a weird pedophile, I think. Probably. Allegedly. I don't know. Wasn't he chasing after, like, the Stranger Things chick when she was, like, 12? Just, like, you know, call me when you're older, and, like, type of thing. Like, okay, weirdo. Huh. Not a, I'm not a fan of him. Yeah. An opening. BP up. God damn it, you're screwing me again. Oh, and then I lost my... Oh... I'm supposed to get up to 80 degrees. I have no clue. I haven't looked too into it, but I heard that. Yeah, that, it, just the fact that like you hear that stuff is bad enough, right? Like that's the problem, right? People just start asking those questions. Second form, damn! I want to. I want to know if we can go to the uh, the Stargazer Tower, take a peek over there. Maybe there's something going on. Let's go. Yeah. I shall go. My turn. Target's eliminated. Move out. Yeah, in Florida, I think this is the last cool week we get for nine months before hell on earth arrives. I mean, I, I, I last time I was there, 2018. I went in August, which everyone would just yell at me. But you know what? I don't, I don't mind the heat. When you live in Canada, and six months out of the year, it's a frozen tundra. Um, it was great for when I was going golfing with my father-in-law because there was nobody on the course except for us silly Canadians. Watch out! This is a tough one. Let's fall back. And they, and it was funny because they were like, "You guys aren't from around here, right?" No, we are not. <laughs> I'm used to the heat, just hate it because uh, they have spotty AC. In my car. Well, time sounds like time for a new car, then, right? Isn't that how that works? You can't escape. Uh, Blunt, I, I mean, if you, if you wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind getting a, a hookup to your, your Discord. I, I would love to watch your stream one day um, if, I, if I am able to catch one. If, uh, if uh, you'd send one my way, possibly, in the, in the Discord. Everyone. You don't have to. I'm just asking. You know? Maybe you don't want crazy Stadia controller users hanging around there. I could understand that. I'll assist. I have to have it, um, like, like, I still think of my car as a new car. I, I bought it new in 2017. Um, but I, last year, I had to get my uh, my air conditioning recharged. Um, it's just eventually that stuff just goes away. Um, Break through! Sledgehammer! I got you, on the server there. Really cool guys. Chip and uh, really good about not spoiling. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Wide open. Wide open. Oh, wide open. Like just hit him in the in the banana oh. hammocks there. I see what we're going with. It's down. It's no, no, no. Further question. Do you do you stream with like a a a webcam or like I assume you job, like? Yuna. I'm trying to understand. So like, do you do you go into your voice channel and then you just talk with everyone? So it's sort of like a a conversation happening while you're playing the game. Because I've always wanted to to do that for for the longest time. Of like, it's it's like logistically, it's a nightmare um, with someone that's like. But I didn't think of that oh, on Discord. Yeah, I hop onto the voice channel and then uh, talk while I stream my screen. Okay. 
So, like, I'm asking, like, as, as something of, like, huh. I'll show could, you no mercy. could you... I guess if you wanted to share your, your voice channel just over a stream, you could do so, right? Not that I'm saying, like, I'm thinking out loud for myself as a conversation. You can't Interesting. My turn. Uh, strike. I'm up. Second form. Scale. Yeah, I appreciate the uh, the invite there, Blonde. I appreciate that. All right. Nice work. I look forward to it. I mean, mind you, I'll have to be careful of uh, a spoiler referees and stuff like that happening, but. Uh... Like I said, if you're, even even like I just like to support. I just like to support whether it, whether it be Neo Matter, whether it be uh, I'm Jeff. Like you know, especially when it was uh, uh, Jeff and I were like sort of back and forth at the same part. Now he's long past me in games, but I mean like I'd just be like, "Hi, I'm here, but I'm not really here." But, I mean, if you guys are just shooting the shit, I could I could certainly just uh, come around there. Yeah, so I just want to see if I can come into this this tower. Huh, yeah. Now, I have a stream chat voice channel on my Discord where I can find people to join on stream. Of course, only certain people can get into that channel. Ah, that's where all the pornos are happening. Eh? Knew it. You can't escape. Fire! No, it's it's a super super interesting community. I got oh, she's got something new. Oh, more delays. Oh my god. And you guys keep telling me that this stuff ain't broken. Activate Fragorock. Fra oh, that's right. I remember when we got Fraggle Rock. It's my turn. Right, I remember that. Um, it's funny, like, I've been, um... I don't follow him now. Let's go. Um, but, uh... I don't know if anyone ever remembers, um... Man versus game. He's. I think he still streams, just not really anymore. Or, but anyways, I was like, I, I caught, like... You know, the, the Google algorithm was probably hard at, hard at work or something. It's and, um... It's my turn! It threw on, like, a Bloodborne stream of him playing. And now I didn't know a lot... Of, I, don't, I don't... You know, just, just talking aloud for, for the sake of hearing my, my own voice. Um... Uh, this guy was streaming, like, for, like, 14 hours in a row. Like, okay, some people are do that and are capable of doing it. But, uh... Let's go! He, he yeah. like, he'll stream. He had some, like, 20,000 people he's watching when he was playing Bloodborne back when it came out. And I'm just like, how does someone go from that such of a high to the last time I saw him streaming, 1,000 people? Um, yeah, looked to be a little, uh, little on the negative side. And I'm just like, oh, it's just, more. oh, that would suck. That would suck. But, uh. That enemy is strong. Please be careful. Oh, he's there! Showing his okay. butt off at this me. Is a tough one. It's appreciative. But it made me uh it made me want to maybe take a, another peek back at uh well I've discussed this. Escape. All the Souls games again. So I think I probably will um do another playthrough of all those because I don't have enough on my plate. There. I always find it super interesting how how a, a cat can Let's get go. um it's fly. Down. Like, you, you think, like, when you think as a human, you try to I shall go. swat at a fly. They're they're out of the way so quickly. But I don't know if it's the way, like, the cat sort of turns on their hunting instincts and just is, like... Because they can, like, nab them with their paws super quick. And uh, before you even know it, like, you know, and then... Does your cat eat them? Or does she just, like, kill them and then play around with them? Very well. You've never played them one day, maybe? Oh, you've got to. I think you've got to. It's down. No, you never miss a... In my opinion, the, the older I it's get, there, there is no missed bandwagons, in all honesty. There isn't. I'll, I'll play I'm something. If I want to play it bad enough, I'll play it. But I mean, like, it's never going to okay? not get played. You get some lots good. So you have your own little fly trap that lives around there. Sirius Satellite Radio Howard Stern has reached level four with aerial dust. And evasion's gone up to 4%, which is really nice. Nice.
Let's see if we can go. Oh, a baboon does not want to have a chat with me. So let's see if we can go over here. I, I don't know. I, I'm going to say it's like, well, this isn't the way back to Crossbell, so we can't go over here. Leads to some old ruins called Stargazer's Tower. Probably don't need to include that in our search just yet. Well, what if what if what happened to exploring in video games? What happened to that? And then what was what was down there? Tried to attack him, missed. Uh, you will go there later. Um, if we keep going from here, we'll be able to see St. Ursula Medical College. Any further outside of our range, so let's turn back. Okay, so. Go back to the crossbell. Uh, how did I get back the, uh, hey, they tease you hard with some areas in crossbell you want to go to. Yeah, they certainly do. How did I, um. Let's get going. Time to ride. If I run into someone, I run into someone. This is this will be the only form of fast transportation I will do, uh, DJ, if that's okay. Just get my need for speed out of it. Oh god. They're in disarray. Okay, well I couldn't avoid that the big butt of the raccoon and baboons there. how cute that little guy is he's just taunting us oh god don't want to anger Kurt Very well. well that was interesting you you taunted him his strength went up but everything else went down so you're gonna pay for that huh. you're so cute but you just can't have My that turn. happening Brianac, activate fire well, I should probably drink my beer eventually today it's turning into my cough targets eliminated move out is that comical Forget about my coffee, complain that it gets cold. I forget about my beer, it doesn't get colder. Although I don't mind a, a room temperature beer, but. It is what it is. All right, head back to the penis tower, and that'll be, that'll be where we want to go, I think, right? Yeah, that was the camp. All right, simple enough. We we'll probably will fish there, you know, because you can't not fish. I, you know what? I'm not going to shut up about this. I like, I've, the, I think I've gotten used to the, uh, I've gotten used to the Stadia controller overly a little too much now. Uh, I just love it. The only thing that bothers me is the no, the no, um, there's no vibration in Bluetooth mode. That's the only thing that bothers me. I'm up. Do so, it. I guess I gotta be careful for asking my questions because I've I've shared my 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 thoughts on how I now. ask these things out loud. Um. Our chance. The open. Cold Steel Arc obviously yeah. finishes in four. Yeah. But now. I've seen enough stuff to to know. The is Reen the main protagonist in Reverie? Or is it like all the other games where like he's in the game much like Lloyd Bannings is in this game but it, this is not his arc? I guess I'm asking questions that like, you know, play trails to find out type of thing. We always get that and I don't mind that as an answer because you know what that just tells me of like you will get the answer if you would just shut up and play the game. Uh, you're probably not wrong, Blunt. You know what I you know what I what 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 I found out even more when I I played basically stated just at launch uh with Cyberpunk and enjoyed about 60, 70 hours of it. Tried a couple other games with it. But when it closed, when I saw like the the, the subreddit and stuff I was actually shocked of like uh, there. either either they were taking a beating of how like 
to offer a game was the problem because you had to buy the game from them at full price to be able to play it but i think the tech i, did it. I think the tech just costed a ton of money that was the thing um uh, i think green is one of the main oh, okay i haven't even played it but i do know the answer but i don't want to reverie in my mind is really going to be blessed yeah i'm i'm, I'm you know what i'm with you i'm with you very well i shall go i'm up it's it's one of those things where like I you know I could ask the question and it could be answered, but I you know I think just playing the game is is the easier way to get that answer. So that's the cookie we'll crumble with. Ah. I mean, to me, just seeing these things in 3D is just, it's its its mind-blowing to me of, like, remembering everything from Trails from Zero and Azure to now seeing it like it is now. It's its, it's, it's a nice little touch. Pentagruel, you saw from the highway. It feels like it's up there looking down on us. I suppose it's just going to stay there for the duration of the inspection. It's most likely too big for the airport to accommodate... I heard the airport lanes are to be extended to 250 yards throughout the Empire. Huh? Does that mean you must be planning to use more airships of that size? Or maybe airship carriers is a better term? Anyways, let's check the city as we head to the East Road. Alright, understood. Let's go, Yuna. And, oh, it's, oh, it's funny because I... Sir, I with, with that type of stuff, it's funny because why I brought up man versus game is there's a lot of streamers actually out there it's it's comical to me and I, I get that they get mad we, I think like, so we talked about this before like with like um um like Jeff as well of like I guess do they ask a lot of questions like rhetorically out loud just because they're thinking out loud and then get mad if you answer it but like this guy doesn't even want you to tell you how to what button to hit to open up the inventory that's that's what's really annoying to me i can get like story stuff or whatever or, you know just running through your head but it's it's very hard to, to get a new audience if you're yelling at people every five seconds or threatening to ban them because uh you know they didn't read the rules right but uh i always felt like that's it's a big sign when you go into someone's stream for the first time i know how you click the chat window and you know it could be something simple for mine is just like have fun. That's it. Uh, no, nothing ridiculous. But then, like some other ones, you get like a laundry list of their rules, and you're sitting there like, "Oh, this is this is too much." Like, I just wanted to watch what you were playing, man. Like, you know, and maybe interact with some people. And all of a sudden, you you throw like forty thousand rules at me. Like, can't do it. The annexation really has brought a number of problems into relief. All right, let's see. There's the geo front. There's people out here at the... What, are you, you're not allowing people in... To, oh, God, this guy's... Just, they're either sweating because it's too hot or he's he's not allowed... Trains! What do you mean you're stopping the trains? It's unheard of. How long will this take? Tell us. I'm sorry, I don't have any details. All I know is that the trains will be stopped for a few hours. It looks crowded. Did... Did Altina just call four people crowd they do sometimes say a three's a crowd so i guess you could be wrong um, <laughs> it's been months since i watched jeff because i stopped after cold steel 2 but most of his community in the months i watched him were good about not giving random spoiler answers to questions if i remember most of the time he would make it clear he doesn't want an answer uh but yes yeah, see like i try to like to me it doesn't bother me i, I would not want anything spoiled but i mean if I asked a question and it happened, I wouldn't be mad because I asked the question. But I I think if I was like that over the top, it's so hard to just not talk out loud and ask those type of philosophical questions that you don't want the answer to. But like I said, not everyone wants to spend a year reading rules. Um, but he's, he's pretty good and at least he's got it, at least the last stream I saw, like, you know, as part of his overlay of like, do not talk do not foreshadow do not do anything so I, I feel like if you got that blatantly right in front of your eyes it's a little bit easier to understand jeff figures stuff out in these games so he does not have much reactions to stuff that happens in these games he is like i called that okay i can't 
can't believe it. Why didn't you tell it? Look, Franz is working on it, okay? Concerned citizens. What about the train that goes to the hospital? This is, so take a bus for crying out loud. It's not the end of the world. So you have a heart attack. Do you have any doctors here? Can I go in here? Oh, I can. I don't need to go back into the sewers for... I mean, they're a clean sewer. I'm not going to lie. I don't need to go back in there. We're basically just walking around to see. Maybe we'll upgrade some equipment if need be. Probably the way the things go, it looks like every chapter sort of adds in a new... Um, Adds a new one, new weapons. Screen cards are being withdrawn. Remind me of when the annexation was announced, though the faces back then made me much more nervous. Also, he has bots that auto text stuff about spoilers and questions. So most new viewers I saw that kid come to his streams understood pretty quickly what was the line. Okay, yeah. Last time I saw Princess Alfin was the medal ceremony of the Northern War. You become even more beautiful. It looks like Prince Oliver is doing well too. And in four months. I heard she became the student council president. She's all grown up. I didn't think she would be coming with them though. Boy, they didn't mention Elise was there with them until just now. But that would make sense. Wherever Princess Alfin goes, would be where Elise would go. What's wrong, you two? Um oh, uh. Yeah, what's going on? Sorry, that broadcast. It felt really strange to not see my brother there. Ah. Prince Oliver's personal aide is Lieutenant Colonel Mueller Vander, right? Yeah, I'm so used to seeing my brother at His Highness's side, but ever since last autumn, Kurt, I don't really know your situation, but... I was just um, wondering... Why wasn't Speaker McDowell there to greet the inspection team? Uh, yeah, Ellie's, uh, granddad. Crossbell's most famous politician. He used to be the mayor. He's currently working for the Governor General. He's in charge of overseeing the provincial legislature. Yeah, I wouldn't be unexpected to see him here as one of the local representatives. Just worried that he might have gotten sick or something. Good point. Both of you. Just focus on our missions for now. We beat the first cryptid thanks to Sharon's help. If we encounter another one, we need to handle it on our own. If we aren't careful, it could kill us. It's it's almost like, it, I know it's not the, the thing, but it feels like the two of them are like hiding a relationship and it's just like, you just caught them holding hands out of somewhere or something like that. Good point. Focus on that here and there. We can worry about the other stuff later. Let's get this done quick so we can have some free time afterwards. That's the spirit. Show me what you'll learn over the last two months. I asked in Jeff's spoilers channel about how did Jeff figure something out in Cold Steel 4. One of his mods gave me some rude reply back. Ah. But isn't that the point of a spoiler channel about asking something out? Not the vibe I got from the scene, but I get you. See, I'm just... Maybe maybe you're playing 4D chess, and I'm sitting here back here playing checkers, Blunt. You're the one who needs to be careful. We weren't the ones standing around with our eyes glazed over, chuckling to ourselves. Huh? Am I supposed to be preoccupied earlier? I'm guessing he was thinking about Elisa. What? I, I, no, I guess it was the two girls who were on screen. Princess Alphine and the dark-haired girl who was with her. After all, that dark-haired girl is the person Instructor Reen cherishes the most. Cherishes the most? Dark-haired girl? I've occasionally seen her with the Highness before. Yeah, about her. Yuna's just gonna be like, how many girlfriends do you have? Well, she's my little sister. Sister? Adoption. Adoption? <laughs> I knew that was happening. Oh, great. Now they're going to ask who my real dad is. It, is it that shocking? 
I mean, anyways, my sister's friends with her highness, so naturally I'm acquainted with her as well. It's been a while, so I was glad to see them again. I remember you being more than acquainted with her. During the Civil War, you rescued her from the Pantagruel and held her tenderly in your arms. Held her? Oh, and by the by, Instructor, Green wronged me twice. To be specific, he watched me sleep and he made... All of a sudden, uh, Reen's getting thrown through the presses here. Wait, what? I'll, I'll just stop. Don't say it like that. They'll get the wrong idea. What's well, true? What's the problem? Anyways, once we check everything here, let's head out to the East Highway. Yeah, I mean, ideally, we students would like to handle everything on our own. Well, Tina, are you okay with that? I have no objections. Uh, guys? Hey, Allie. Hurry up, or he's going to do stuff to you again. <laughs> He's going to do stuff to you. I thought he'd be guarding Princess Edric, but perhaps I should have been guarding Princess Alfin from a certain individual. Okay, now Reen's uh, the weirdo now, I guess. How did that happen? Uh, guys, I think you've... Uh... What? Ugh, never mind. After that, Reen was able to clear up the misunderstanding. Altina well, admitted she'd been a bit misleading. He has the whole comms punching bag. Ah, nothing a Reen head pat can't fix. Afterwards, we took a break and resumed their special ops missions in the afternoon. All right, so. Might go into the armory. I, I'm guessing we just have to just do as we do and just. Talk to everyone again, right? I don't think there's anything in here, but... Not that we have to talk to everyone, but I mean, like, we have to, uh, you know... I'm going to look for a side quest, obviously. Inspection team is here. How nice! Since we became part of the Empire, the Mafia's been really quieted down. Random question. Do you have any pendulums? Many pendulums. All the colors of the rainbow, Blunt. This place is finally worth to receive a visit from the Imperial family. However, it's still the same place that was called the City of Sin not too long ago. We'll see soon enough. Oh, okay. We do have some some new things. Not new weapons, but uh, heavy shin guards. Decorate. Oh, but the movement is not really worth my uh, what I'm interested in. So. Uh, the ones that resist different statuses at once. Yeah, yeah, we got we got a lot of those. We got uh, we got the red, green. Uh, yeah, I I have tons of them. Cool, cool. Just checking. Is that something like I may need? You know, come come later on. You know. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right, we'll just do uh. No. The thing is, like, I, I've said this before, like, um, no, what's the, there's this button, but there's another button for, like, but maybe it doesn't work for the, the city. You always have to have at least two on each character. I don't work. Like, I'm sitting here thinking, like, there's probably not, outside of the shops, Wendy, what is it? Oh, well, it's nothing. I was just, you know, thinking. Uh, I heard you've been taking on the cryptids. Aren't cryptids like big, scary monsters that nobody's seen before? Even they have a hard time dealing with them, so be prepared. As long as I'm assigned to maintain your orbits, I'm not going to let anyone get injured. You got that? Right. She's right. Everyone make sure you're well prepared. I don't think I have enough. Why can't I open that? Oh, because I have to open this one. Damn it. So that's going to cost one. Okay. What do I need more of? Okay, so I can do it. Okay, so let's, let's, let's open that up. 
So we got two more spots to put into um what's his face? Kurt. Someone would like to uh throw them on in there. Some ideas. Someone called her and then she got really nervous. I wonder what happened. I mean about Wendy. Uh, if you have the Rage Quartz, easy pick for Kurt. Way ahead of you, my friend. Way ahead of you. All right, so uh, what, what are we looking for? Green over here. But, uh, so we just got the, the, the airstrike thing from his Sirius. Um... You know, like Recur Recuria would be really nice. I think just to have that. Can you make evade too? Probably could. Oh, I wanted to put on that scent. I think that was another one. I think. I don't know if I wanted to put it on him. Let's go make an evasion too. Oh. I mean, what's a, what's a leg breaker going to do nowadays? A uh, person I would put scent on a person who does not have a wind master course, but no problem either way. Um, no, no, no. You, you, like, I'm not very good at this stuff. That's why I come to you guys for, for the help. So if you have a better person to, to put that on, let me know. I would absolutely put it on there. Like maybe even like a, an action to, we can't make that unfortunately, but I mean like, you know, there, there are options here. So I'm, I'm assuming, are, am I either adding, am I putting evasion two and not getting rid of evasion one? Like keeping it just so I have the, you know, more evasion. You can have both. Yeah, I mean, that's the intention, right? So, so then what else would we have? Uh, yes, who does not love more evasion? So then what would we... Throw in there with this last one there. We got the rage everyone was talking about. We put in the evade two. Um, give him action two. Let's see if we have that. We do. Awesome. All right, he's all said and done. Okay. Good. Thank you. All right, so I'm just going to sort of stumble around. Uh, Kurt's Evade plus Shining Heart equals 94 pence. Wait, wait, Shining Art. Does he even have it? Or do you just mean if... Um, you mean if someone puts Shining on him, like her? You're saying in general, okay. I got gotcha. you. You know, see, this is the funny thing that the only thing I'm I'm actually I'm not, I'm not worried about, but you, you you come into these places like I'm always afraid of like, oh, am I gonna miss uh, am I gonna miss something that I I can get from these people? Oh, there was a hell of a ruckus outside. Someone start a fight or something? Oh, that noise knocked that old lady right over. So I'll warn you now. You try not to bring a fight into my store. You'll have to go through me. I hear the streets of Crossbow are running rampant with delinquents. So, Hattery is just another name for Karen. Watching Jeff in the final dungeon, he's over, uh, he's overpowered that the boss is not even getting a turn. I mean, just remember, like, last game, when we were playing with Laura, I mean, we, we, we overdid the build, right? We're like... I would argue even that, like, we weren't overpowered, but just the way she was built, it made it silly. I don't want that again, type of thing, even though, I, like, it was nice to play through, and you can't turn back once you have that power, right? It's like a politician. You give them that power, they can't go away from it or something. But, uh, at least her heart's in the right place. 
All right. Are, wait, are we delinquents here? Or? Oh, I thought you had something to buy. You do not. Neither of you have anything. I saw a video last night of someone on Nightmare one-shotting McBurn with Fee on Cold Steel 2. Yeah, that's uh, that'll be fun. The best way to teach a new hire is to show them how it's done. Hattery might need to work on her communication skills, but I'm sure that she'll be great with a little guidance. I always feel like I'm going to miss a book or something. I'll DM it to you. It's hilarious. Oh, look, what's, what's this cute little woman, Janetta? Marty Janetta? That airship was amazing. It looks so big and powerful from the roof. I even got the perfect picture to show Southwark. Mm, the moon boots. And again, these are just uh, pendulums. Colorful watch, though, prevents art van delay from happening. Oh, I probably would want one of those on. Nothing in there. That's the only thing of like, I'm unsure if any of these people have really anything to bring up or talk about. You know, there's a shop in here, but probably not most stuff. Like, like that's my thing. If there was, like, if there was a, like, the only, the books are the one thing I, I can't, figure out but if there was a um if there's a side quest it would show up in with the green thing right so like we would have that like if as soon as i do this it should appear somewhere i'll still have to go to these places though because it doesn't work for until you're inside the uh I knew something was weird but oscar what's wrong <laughs> sorry i just lost my thoughts yuna you and Bennett work so hard every day, so I can't fall behind. Um, need to worry about me? Are you heading out somewhere? I just finished the afternoon batch. Make sure you eat a proper amount of food. I shall pick one. I'd love to. What do you got? Golden bagel? Oh, isn't this the girl that we give uh, dishes to? Thank you, Bennett. Oh, I guess not. Maybe not anymore. Maybe just that one time for that quest. Um, got the apartments. You know, I, I guess that's the other thing too. These, these kids are just like in in. Well, I mean, everybody here, is just in you know shock of this giant uh, Johnson in the air. What are you guys watching? Like, is it? Is it such a Oh, wait, I forgot these were her... This is her brother and sister. <laughs> hey, is it one of those Imperial airships? These people on the big TV were super cool. I want to ride an airship, too. You guys are so cute. If you're in a daydream, just make sure you stay away from the street. There are more horrible cars around here recently. All right, we're going to go home soon. Are you going to tell me I can't go to these uh, other floors? How dare you. Isn't this where I, I I'm I'm actually I'm gonna be curious if we can actually go uh, into the entertainment district. You know, are they are they gonna tell me no again? I think I know whose apartment this is, but you don't let me in it. So, hmm? 
And I, again, I, I'm just taking a stab in the dark of that person who was talking to the cop, the kitty, dressed in black. Um, maybe it was Dominic, uh, Dominic Mysterio. It could have been. I hate to assume things. Is this a small girl? Momo? That airship is kind of scary. I wonder if everyone's okay, but I can't get all Freddy cat just because I'm alone. I'm a member of the JSSS, and the JSSS members aren't afraid of anything. You, you keep telling yourself that. Hello. Crowd sure was a lively bunch. Prince Salfin is just too adorable for words, almost as memorable as Momo. Yeah, see, these are the things. Just make sure you're not missing anything. No gifts or anything like that, because you're going to hate to miss it. People told me how angelic the princess was, and after seeing her, I certainly can believe it. Prince Oliver was his usual self, of course. I think the last time he was here was the trade conference a couple years back. That takes me back. Has it really been two years already? Yes, it looks like COVID, right? Like, you just can't remember and realize, like, how much time has passed? Really? And then the abandoned law offices. I wonder why they're abandoned. I think. Spoilers! All right, um, mm, it looks like it prevents you from going into those places because that would be the residential district that they don't want you going into. So now we got to go back into Central Square. How dare you? I used to be able to go to these places all I wanted to. Now, no. Uh, where did we come from? We came from the Station Street, I believe. So we're going to go to the East Street. Game said no, right? Yeah, game said no. Just not allowed to, man. Um, okay. Oh, so it does have something if there is something in a in a building. Interesting. Okay. Now that I've wasted all my life in there now. Let me in. Let me, what show is that from? Shanahan. Hey, do you know Archon Ciel? They're a theater troupe in the entertainment district. My best friend Rixia works there. Oh, you're a friend of Rixia's? Oh, do you know Rixia personally too? What a quinky dink. Rixia Mao, one of the lead performers of Archon Ciel. Eric Andre, thank you. I see, she must be famous. I came in contact with her on a mission with Instructor Reen. Let's just keep quiet about that part. By the way, Rixia's favorite foods are mapo tofu and almond tofu. You should try them for yourself if you ever get a chance. All right, your top performer, her favorite dish. This might be something Mike would like to know. Mike Monk. You see all the soldiers here? We've getting more lately. By a lot, so we welcome them, but the Master doesn't care what he's up against. He doesn't mince his words either. Makes me really nervous sometimes. So we got that. What do you what do you what are you selling, bud? Some gifts? <laughs> I've been waiting, Reen. Hey, soap dish, how are you? Give me the dirt. So here's what I heard. <laughs> That's good stuff. I'll send you your prize. Should be out by tonight. Thanks. Doing well, just woke up from a, na a nap at this hour? Snacking hour. Ramoon. My, my name is Reza Ramoon. Are they all just trying to swindle me? A fish stall, dried salmon. That sounds and probably smells. Um, all right, now let's just go on off to the harbor. You're gonna, you're gonna swindle me here, Tucker? Oh, Jesus Christ, I hate to say this, but Monk literally sounds like he's on the shrooms. It's three, I mean, he's got that, Monk has got like that dopey look that like he's high all the time, right? So I just assume that he's high all the time. 
possibly on shrooms. Might as well be on shrooms. Right? That was... Looks like there are people affiliated with this building. What was that? Hmm. Hey, look at that. A side quest. Perfect. Anything else? Nope. Let's do some fishing off the harbor. Got yourself a PS5. Where did, did, did you go? Did you go to Costco? Did you, did you buy it off a guy on the street? And what games did you get, Soap Dish? I want to know. That's awesome. I don't dislike him. It's just that I don't think I've heard his English VA right till right there. Yeah. You know who he reminds me of? I don't know if you watch Breaking Bad. Badger. Badger from Breaking Bad. Although that's weird because the voice of Badger was in the Final Fantasy VII remake, I believe, as Wedge. And so it's a very different take. Finally had one at our source kiosk in our mall. That's all right. The door is what we would call an Eastern style. This place must Who be- Who are you people? Oh God. Yeah, like I, I said, like the last few weeks, like I, uh, I was in Walmart a couple weeks ago. I saw one there. No, two. One just normal and one with the God of War uh, one. Costco, I saw them un unload a, a giant, uh, what would you call them? Crate of them. Like, but they had their own bundles, like the Costco bundle. Of, like, it was the God of War. Um, but then it had, like, a headset and then an extra controller. But they want you to buy all three. Like, I guess that's just how they pro probably the headsets aren't selling. So it's just like, give them to Costco and they'll force sell them type of thing. And, you know, that's basically it. Came with God of War Ragnarok, and I've ordered Horizon Forbidden West, Ghosts of Tsushima, and Hogwarts Legacy. Nice. Nice. It's in my sock. I'm sorry, we're... You look suspicious, all dressed in similar uniforms, but you don't seem to be from the Imperial Army or the military police, so who? 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 Vander. What? Evander? No. Who was it? Uh, why did I say Vander? I was going to say, who, who? Like the, uh, like the, the group in WWWWWE. Gears of War are Gears of War. God of War is the only one that is digital. Oh, like it didn't even come with a disc? Well, did you, did you, I guess I would ask the follow-up question. And that's because it only came with a digital. I'd rather it was physical. Did you buy the, the disc PS5 or the digital PS5? Wait, are you? None other than Reen Schwarzer, the Ass Man Chevalier. Hey, Kramer, it's the Ass Man. It is. He's leading students of an Imperial Military Academy in their field exercises. How does he know so much? Could these people be... Yeah, like, I heard they were still around, but... The Eastern Syndicate, who operate out of the Republic of Calvary. Huh, I received a report, but I didn't expect to meet you here. Who are you? My name is Shin. I'm the representative of the Heiyue Trading Company's Crossbell branch. Shin. Disc PS5, I am anti-digital only. Wait, well, you, you confused me there. So so you don't like, you like physical media. We, can we can we simplify it that much? Not against digital games, but I want the option to use a physical cop. Okay. Like, I'm with, I'm with you. Not that I have a lot of physical games anymore, but... What bothers me is that in this day and age, I miss the days of, like, you know what I like, I love about the Switch? It just works. You put the cartridge in and it works. I don't like you buy a disc, you put it in your system, and then you got to wait three years for it to install the game to your system. What happened to just playing it when you put it in the disc slot? What happened to that? Now, mind you, I'm not too uh, wary of like, you know, okay, if does it install it so that it loads faster? Is it because they can't spin the discs fast enough to, to have good loading time? I don't know. I, I get it. I get why you want to install them, but I'm I'm just sort of like, what are you, what are you giving me a disc for? 
Ah, you can blame Bub- the publisher's clearinghouse, those people, the people that go knocking on people's doors, giving them millions of dollars, those people, pushing crunch culture for that. Simple enough. This is Lau. He's the right-hand man of the branch manager. Is Who's there, on leave at the is moment? there a hockey game on that's outside today? I thought there was. Maybe it's later on? Time's it. Four o'clock. So confusing. That's actually not entirely true with the Switch. There are games that required. Really? I did not know that. Of all the games I play, I have not run into anything that's had to install anything. I mean, there's software updates. Um, I've had that, like playing Breath of the Wild and, and, and some, I think, Fire Emblem was the other one when I borrowed it from my buddy. Um, I'm glad we were able to meet, though. There's something I need to ask. I really like the way that, I like that dress. Like, not the dress. Like, I mean, the way that uh, Shin dresses. I like I like that type of Eastern culture outfit. It's it's really nice. And the reason you can't play from a disc game more is because solid state drives can load games faster than a disc drive can. Re- oh, okay. Makes sense. But again, it sucks because, um, you know. There's, you know, that still means the install, which then sort of negates the, uh, you know, not just buying it digitally to download it when you're already downloading it from a disc or writing it from the disc regardless. No, I, I, I love your point because I've, I'm still contemplating whether I want a PS5 or need a PS5, uh, whether I'd buy a digital or a disc based one. Um, and then I'm still hoping of like games that will just come out on PC for it anyways. Like I'd love to see just like a Bloodborne remaster or Bloodborne on PC, Demon Souls on PC, all these things. Just like, I don't want to buy. I'd buy the controller though. I would buy the dual sense. Uh, I've heard good things about that and I wouldn't mind. Eventually my PS4 controllers will die. And I do like PlayStation controllers. So, Like, for me, if this makes sense to people, especially when I'm emulating my stuff, I like to play my PlayStation emulator games, even though I could use the Stadia controller, the Xbox controller. God, I could probably use my, my Pro controller uh, for, for, for Switch. Um, I just like using those those buttons that are cemented in my head as when I was a kid of, like, you know, that triangle, square, X, and circle. It's Even though they're the same connection with a, all other controllers, it's just an X, B, A, Y. I... I like using a set controller for those games because that's just the way they've worked. Like, I would use, when I'm playing the SNES games, I'm using the Pro Controller because it's got the Nintendo layout, which I'm huge about it. I'm huge. Um, PlayStation games, I'll, I'll use the PS4. Witcher, Mad Max, I will never touch an N64 controller ever again. Why would you? Unless someone was like, hey, I'm going to murder you unless you touch this thing. It was good at the time. It, it can I can I say like it worked for what it needed to do, right? A for effort, uh, D for uh, whatever the other things we're marking on. I was a PS controller kid, teen, but I was converted to Xbox style controller three years ago, and I never. I. I want a. I, I like. It's funny because I can't really F for comfort. Yes, I can't really put my nose on it of like. I've grown on the Stadia controller. I like the offset analog on the Switch controller. I I'm a, I have little girly hands, so this fits well in my hand, but I've seen many complaints about the Pro controller being too small. Um, for comfort, the Xbox controllers. So I, I, I love the Xbox 360 ones back in the day. Um before the obviously the Xbox One controllers came out. But I would say for comfort, the Xbox One controller just feels right. It's it, everything is just it, everything falls into place almost perfectly. Um But it sucks when you keep switching back and forth between a Nintendo game and an Xbox game. That's why I say the PlayStation is good because they don't use the A B X Y configuration because it bothers me. Xbox had an opportunity to just 
just copy Nintendo and it could have been the same, but then, they, you know, they had to switch it. So then when you're, you're switching it, like, you know, the X is the X is the Y button and it's all just confusing to people and it can't be confusing. Oh, that's right. You remember the, the, the grinding in the middle of your, your hand when you're doing Mario Party? Oh my God. The amount of blisters. I'm, I'm lucky that didn't just go through people's hands, but yeah, that was, that, that was some fun. Yeah. Press X, right? Square. Well, then the worst thing is like, remember... We see this in some of the games I've played. Japanese games will use uh, the circle button to confirm. But then the Americans would prefer pressing X. I am Jeff. Are you Jeff? How are you, Jeff? I heard you were uh, ending or near the ending of Cold Steel 4. Remember when you and I used to be ever so close? We were like back and forth with the game. Uh, and then, and then I don't know what happened. I, I, I ran out of time. Hey, you, it's one of the largest criminal syndicates in Zen Mori. So your crossbow branch is still up and running. Indeed. The previous office burned down during the incident that happened right before the big hole uproar. However, you're only renting this building. But why? You're completely on Calvert's side, aren't you? Can a branch survive after Crossbow has been annexed by Bonerville? Huh. How our branch manager, who is currently away, worked it all out with the general governor's office. Basically, they look the other way in order to maintain their relations with Calvert. But Cal definitely has personality issues, so I'm sure he's going to get along perfectly with Rufus. That's Ralphus. Jeff the Innocent. Jeff is going to day one reverie, right? A long home from work. Been there for a bit. That's good. It sounds like a fascinating person. Yeah, like Lloyd and the others told me about him. Lloyd? Bannings. What does an Arabonian know about the SSS? Oh, I'm actually from Crossbell. I'm only on Cold Steel 3, but I plan to play uh, Trails in Reverie for sure. I think we all do so. Now, are you ahead of your... You, you've got to be well ahead of me now, Soap Dish, right? You've got to be well ahead of me. My copy will take a while to get to me. Living on an island is great. Oh, you're like you're like way out there, right? Like you're uh, Newfoundland, right, Jeff? You got to wait for uh, letting all the... Uh, yeah, I'm going out to uh, Halifax, way Nova Scotia, uh, in the uh, in the summer to visit some uh, of the wife's family. We were gonna drive, and then realized that like that's a super long drive, and I don't want to. I could cut some time off, but I'd have to drive through America. And not that I have a problem with that. Um, my son doesn't have a passport, even though we could get one. But then I realized it's only like a two-hour flight from where I am to Halifax and that's a lot of time saved and it's about the same amount of money for um gas so uh you're well into chapter four. Oh, thank you so much wow explain it to them oh certainly finally getting down to business although it is a bit presumptuous of them to assume we're going to accept the request we would like to request your help in recovering a certain black briefcase. Earlier today, it fell off the back of a cruise ship and into a river. And Chris Farley now has it inside his van. On its way home from Michelin, we'd like to request a search and recovery operation. Just shy of 100 hours played. Oh my god. I'm going to be playing this for the next eight years, aren't I? I mean, I'm going to put a, some good work in it. You know, obviously, this week, but... Black briefcase? That sounds kind of suspicious. We are members of a fully authorized Imperial Military Academy. And before we discuss whether or not we will accept, is there anything illegal about this request? Obviously, it's probably filled with cocaine. It took me over 100 hours for Cold Steel 3 as well. I, I feel like you and I are on the same, like, wavelength of time for games. You know, I, I sort of try to do as much as possible without... Uh, I've sort of switched from, like, not following a guide of what to do, but not to miss anything. But the quality of life stuff they made in these games to change 
is a little bit for the better. They tell you where some side quests are, saving me to have to do all that work. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. The only hitch is the intelligence division is trying to hassle us. Huh? What do you mean? A little complicated, but we swear to you, there's nothing illegal about this whatsoever. So, do you accept? If you're curious about what's inside, we can show it after you've gotten it back. Yes. It seems like we need your help, so... Instructor, are you sure? I'll accept full responsibility for this request. I'll go to jail if we need to. Cold Steel 3 took you 150 hours. And with 3 and 4, I pretty much tried to do everything, so I didn't have to do too much on a second playthrough. See, I mean, it's weird. I look at that as though like, I'm not going to do a second playthrough anytime soon. I feel like I would like to leave just some things left to do. Like, not that I'm after 100% and some things you just can't do on your first playthrough. So, But just having things there to do would be... Um, it would be nice. And I'm always forgetting of adding in the Jordan multiplier, which we're seeing the inner workings of it right now. Just, you know, you know Reen's stuck on this uh, text bubble for the next 17 minutes. And that's how a game takes you 300 hours to play. With that said, I'd appreciate any help you guys decide to give. Understood. But I don't agree with you taking all the responsibility for yourself. That's right. You should share it equally. And besides, you should be part of our special ops mission. Agreed. Well, you guys insist. You're all pretty responsible, aren't you? Now allow me to explain the area of the search in more detail. We assume the briefcase was washed over to Yersla Road. Most likely a shoreline not that far from Crossbell City. Um, how do you know that? Let me explain the order of events if you'd shut up. <laughs> well, on a cruise ship, one of our employees was asked to comply with a surprise inspection. While resisting, they accidentally dropped it into the river. I'm going to replace the words accidentally and dropped with they just threw it into the river so it wouldn't be checked. By the by, the briefcase was specifically designed to float. Based on the current winding of the river, it would induce that it was carried into an area we specified earlier. And you are absolutely certain there's nothing illegal about this? We've already covered that. Just so you know, this is a pro bono case for us too. I would do anything in my help to, in my power to help Ellie. Wait. Fulfilling this request will, without a doubt, help her. So, why don't you hurry up and go look for it? All right, but lay off the sass, will you? Oh wait, I remember Lloyd and the others talking about how they got mixed up in something because of some precarious Eastern boy. I am not precocious. Precarious? Precocious. And that was two years ago. Anyways, leave it to us. Thank you. Alright, I guess now we're going somewhere else. Can I uh, just like rummage around in this area though and just... Fakedoors.com Hmm, not letting me go into these areas, eh? Alright. Well, we got a side quest. Do some fishing at the harbor while we're here, and then, uh... I think these three shops are new. Oh. I mean, they're they're vending machines, but, uh... Oh, I got one of everything anyways. Alright. Imagine you could go and access... Is that Mishy? Mishy. Hi, Mishy. How are you? Me hee hee! Princess Alphine is so wonderfully popular! Maybe we can do a mehi aculus collaboration one day. I'm just going to stop trying to read those. I really doubt that something a princess would do. Come on, let Mishy dream. Right? You just... Mm. Hey, look! There's some fish there! You're right, there is. No entering the geo front from there, though. nothing wrong with a solid 130 hour experience in my opinion not at all so uh, i jeff if you if you're if you're still here i was, I was gonna so i guess there's no uh like you know next day deliveries from amazon although i would feel like i guess i don't know like the population of the area 
But like, you know, I guess it has to make sense. Like, you know, it's got to be makes sense for them to put like a warehouse there or something. Next day delivery is a week. Yeesh. Oh man. Yeah, oh man, indeed. Sounds like Brad from work. Oh man. <laughs> nice. I order from Amazon. It usually ships from the Mississauga. Oh, okay. So they just huh? they just put a big giant one. Um, Let's go. About now. Let's go. Ten minutes away from me. But we were already getting next day. But with that being finished, I have seen like I haven't ordered anything in a, in a while. But you can now get the. Uh, I have noticed you can now get. Um, same day if you order early enough. That to me just that just boggles my mind that you can you can order something say like that's something like you always hear about like in the states of like you know San Francisco or something um because you know they probably have like a bajillion things there but like um yeah like yeah I, yeah I guess yeah I guess they're fulfillment centers um I mean obviously like you know you got a giant one in Mississauga just added one uh, here in my place in Hamilton um there's a a somewhat smaller one in London like i'm pretty much in a a pretty pretty decent spot of you know, like you know it's not too far off from getting most things come to montreal one day delivery almost guaranteed yeah like i i would say like and the, and the thing is that is weird um is like it used to be like okay like next day delivery but or you know monday to friday now it's like they're just, it doesn't stop. Like, it's just basically every day of the week you want something. You can get it Saturday, Sunday, because now Amazon has their own drivers, right? It's only a very recent thing here since Amazon started using Intellicom for... Se yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, just as I was saying. Is there... you? Uh, do you owe me a Coke? Is that how this works, Jinx? They're far from perfect, even in us. I'm in Florida in order to controller and a wireless gaming mouse. And when I bought it, it said next day from Saturday. And now uh, the motherfuckers are telling me that it will come next one. I always feel like that's a... It's not a fulfillment issue or a delivery thing. I just don't think, like, if you order something that's... Because I feel like their fulfillment places, they they fill... Um, with obviously popular products, right? Things that they know are going to... Um, sell but like if you wanted like a niche product that they have to go to another fulfillment center to get and then uh and that's how that happens i can shoot you a bundle of coke though i think you're high energy enough as am i i feel like i could be more energetic oh we've arrived seems like we're searched the near the lake shore and since it's supposed to be near crossbell i don't think it'll be necessary to go all the way to the shore itself remember looking for a black briefcase of coke young guy if i didn't have the job i have and if my family weren't where i lived then i'd probably be moved off the island years ago where where would you go if it wasn't uh if it was up to you would you i mean um okay it's right there just head south okay like, I, I hear many people aren't fans of ontario because of how expensive it is to live out here i mean rent is super expensive buying homes is expensive everything's expensive Very everywhere you can't escape it but uh, that's just the way it is. Second form, damn! But if you like living out there, I mean, outside of the it's terrible weather you might have every every once in a while, Very like, well. did you did you get that uh, touch of that hurricane when it came style. through? BC, Alberta, or Saskatoon, Saskatchewan? Oh, you didn't say Saskatoon. I said Saskatoon. Saskatchewan. I feel like Saskatchewan does not get enough love. Lothars could probably tell us all the all the great things of Saskatchewan. Yeah, yeah. Not Manitoba. Yeah, no love for Manitoba, right? Just, just not for not for that. I, I don't know. Activate Fragorok. That's where most of my friends are. It's my turn. Second form, Gale. 
just think you could have you could have all these get-togethers with all these people, right? Streaming parties. You can't escape. Fire! Our chance. Yeah, I went to a, a funeral uh, last weekend, or no, this week. Sorry, last week, Monday. Um, and so there were some friends who had lived in Toronto, essentially, um, but they had moved out Very east. Well. Um, so obviously, like, you know, um, they, they've gotten used to out east, but they're like, oh, what are you going to do? I'm like, I don't think I can move from Ontario. I'm too, I'm too into the, I don't, I, I like the hustle and bustle and I don't even live in a busy city, but I mean, I, I think it's a little too easy going, uh, for, for me out there. I'm up. I've met three streamers I watch in real life. Right. Three. Nice. I look in the mirror when I need to see a streamer that I watch in real life. The problem with Manitoba is pretty much the whole population lives in Winnipeg. So unless you live there, you basically live in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, like, but isn't that sort of the problem of even like Saskatchewan? If you don't live in, oof, like Regina Sick. or Saskatoon, like, is that like basically the other thing? I won't go easy. Second form, damn! I mean, if I had, if I could literally probably go anywhere, like, in the world, I'd probably choose somewhere like, I don't know, Sweden or something. It sounds, like, cool job, over there. Yuna. Canada's good as well, but I mean, like, I guess I wasn't Japan. You know, if obviously I could get over the eating rice every day and type of thing, maybe. Yep, live one hour and 30 minutes from me. The other two live in a hot Lana. Second form, damn! Doesn't everyone just move to Austin, Texas? Isn't that the other thing too? Less than half the population of Saskatchewan lives in Regina and Saskatoon. Jeesh! Never knew. It's my turn. Yeah, BC and Alberta. You know, I think BC just because it would be beautiful. But um, yeah, same with Alberta. They all have their charm, I guess. Careful. Yeah, hit someone in the head with those things. Hmm. So where is this cocaine briefcase? Anytime I want to see a streamer, I just peek into Jordan's windows. Well, I mean, A, unless you're washing my windows, which they don't have those people here. Or you're Spider-Man. Or you have the power to fly. I need to know how you're you're getting so high up. Oh, there it is. Look at that. That is it. That is a briefcase. Oh, and there's a there's a there's a crab just chilling. What if that's his new home? But retrieving it from here may prove difficult. Uh, we're all valid fishermen. Let's just uh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What is that? Was that a peak a peak about what? We may need to borrow a boat to reach it. Well, we can't, unfortunately. Entry onto the lake has been restricted because of the inspection team. Might be able to hook it through a fishing pole from this distance, though. I see it does seem possible. A well, good thing we've been practicing during our missions. But that crab might be in the way. We should probably catch it first to clear the area. All right, then, let me add it. We can't trust Hey You, but that briefcase seems to be a little different. Well, we'll leave it to you. Go for it when you're ready. A map? My what mouth? Yabbered mouth. Well, sorry. Here I go! Uh, there! Mm -hmm. I got one! Nice. Sounds like a you problem then. Pretty yeah. good, huh? A cobalt crap. Is that new? All right, just finished work. See you later, Chads. See you later, Blunt. Thanks for hopping on in. Peace, bud. 
<laughs> How do you like me now? Nice catch. Splendid. Uh, so now, yes, now try the briefcase. Oh, so like we just bypass that. Can we open it to see how much cocaine is there? Maybe that's the whole uh, thing with the, the cocaine bear movie that's coming out. Yuna proceeded to deftly reel in the suitcase after wiping off its waterproof coating. Turned it over to the Hey You office in the harbor. Saved me all that walking. Look at that, DJ. Why do I have to use fast travel when the game will do it for me? Well, there it is. Thank you very much. I suppose we should have expected nothing less from the Ashton Chevalier and the SSS fangirl. Why do you have to be such a little brat? What are you calling a brat? Can we just move on, please? So you said that we would uh, let us see inside the briefcase. Oh, like, right. Are you going to show us, aren't you? Members of Hey You don't make promises we don't intend to keep. Wow, show them. Certainly. These are... Ellie? Noel? Dudleys? The Dudley boys? Letters addressed to people in the city? Members of the military police as well as other names I recognize. I'm assuming those currently in Michelin wrote letters to their families and friends? Yeah, that's exactly right. Oh, we said we'd do them a favor and deliver them. But, but why? Like, they could just use the postal service. So, like, why send them like this? Uh, folks, it's because the letters have cocaine in them. That's the only reason, right? I think so. We're not at liberty to discuss that. There are certain extenuating circumstances. Thanks for understanding. No, I don't understand. But we will ensure that these are delivered to the proper recipients throughout the city. Okay. Please see to that. The letters are made out of co Oh! Even better, right? Everyone's just sniffing letters. Envelopes. <sighs> so it's great to clear out that uh, that hole up there. Yuna, I'm sure you have your doubts, but leave the rest of them. All right. You better deliver them. We will. You did good work today. It isn't much, but please accept this. Night Gleam and 3000 Mira. Very well. My turn. I'm up. Oh, and they play Vantage Masters. Okay, what? Who does that go on? Night Gleam. Sounds scary. First attack fart used deals 50% damage. Attacks and crafts can KO enemies with a 10% chance. He doesn't use a lot of arts, though. Unless it's like, I mean, I use Gale all the time. Is that a spit? You know, does that also work with Gale? Um, I don't, I don't know what to, I don't know what to replace here. I mean, if it's even on him. All right, I'm going to go play Vantage Message while my chat figures out who on earth uh, we should put that on. Oh my god, I can't I can't get over to you. I'd love to... You have quite an interesting set of circumstances for a cross bellion. I heard about the SSS being cornered by the Empire, but have you visited your family yet? Uh, duh. Like, why do you need to know? And like, since why do you care? <laughs> of course. If something were to happen to you, Ellie would be beside herself. But let me make things clear. Lee is far more beautiful and elegant than you could ever hope to be. So don't get carried away. Okay, I seriously don't get this guy. Maybe he has a little schoolboy crush on you. Oh, by the by. See? See? Every once in a while you do run into people who actually say it. Just like I do. The by the by. By the by by. I hear you play Vantage Masters. Yeah, do you play too? Huh. Partaking it as part of my curriculum and studying the latest trends. You seem like you have potential. 
I'll deign to allow you permission to play against me. So I'm like, thanks, I think. All right. Ooh, I wonder if you, I wonder if you get his card, the thief. Um, those are actually all good. So I'll just take them. Skill, speed draw. Cost two mana to draw a card. This card can act twice. Interesting. Um, ah, damn it. Not what I wanted to do. Oh. Could probably play one of those. Get him out there. Probably good to get him out early. I don't want you getting more cards. Smart move. Smart move. End your turn, silly nanny. Oh. In due time, my friend. In due time, we will attack. Um... How much does that cost to three mana? Three, one, two, three. else can attack here can you attack no can you attack no you can attack I can attack him but I could get rid of that guy He's making his life miserable
I had a soap dish. We got. It. I'm just, I'm just trying to do. I just start doing doing damage. We get rid of that thing. That's gonna cause some some issues eventually. The, the the thief card looks like it's capable of, of of ramping up damage relatively quickly. I'm excited for the day I can meet Jordan in real life and slap him. I mean, yeah, right. Sounds like a like a fun little opportunity. How am I? I'm well. No, out here out here causing trouble as as you do. I think. After a lot of beer. Yeah. All right. Let's. We're going to buff again. Just It just gets so unfair here, doesn't it? Yeah. And it just hit me down for one. Do some real honest to goodness damage here. And a four. Okay. I guess I, I guess I should I could I should move him back down eventually. I'm not too worried about him doing any damage right now, but I should sort of not bother with that stuff. Well, I know I mean DJ Man is going to be keeping track of all the trouble she cut, right? Yeah, like, are you, are you sure you're gonna have enough time for that, or you know? Mm. That will that will take some damage. I can just let him waste his waste his time. Stream's going well. Uh, we're we're still in Crossbell. We got a, a briefcase full of uh, cocaine letters. Um, so you know that, that's going well. Um, and now we're playing against a child, the child's game, and we might lose. I'm very worried about it. See, that, that, that's what I was worried That's That's, this is all starting to occur right now. I'm very worried about it. Well, at least you gain the cocaine. To, right, exactly. That's that's all part of the, the, the show here. Um, all right, so I'm not really going to even be attacking with you. So we're just going to move. Oh, yeah, move, if I move, I can still do the, the skill thing. Think, right? Yeah. Then we can throw this guy up there. And throw this on somebody. And quite basically, this guy is done. It's like Santa. Now, I hope I do get that thief card. The Kyria Bell. I did not get the thief card. I'm already upset about it. Okay, so we gave, uh, you know, we gave a, a child a good beating at a card game. Pokemon. We took all the cards. It didn't go over well for him. Um, yeah, I think we're uh, all said and done. I still don't know where, what to do with that um, new quartz we got. This, this. This night gleam. It's, it sounds like it's good. First attack art used. Like who uses who uses arts? I guess that's the question. Like when I'm thinking out loud. I mean she does. You had it on Reen. I I just like do you just replace the 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 soul like it just that like it it it, it, I, it could make sense. Hey, I mean he is capable of using arts. Absolutely is. And it does you know it does do some uh you know it does have a a KO opportunity at the hit of three. Sure. Why not? All right, we are uh, to remove so oh, blur. Yes, sixty hours deep. Finally, 
So I guess now we are finally heading to the East Crossbell Highway. So let me guess. We can get there through the East Crossbell. Altine is one of my farts users. Does she, does she pay extra for the, the farting in the mouth? Or you know, is that a kink that we're not... Uh, we don't kink shame around here, right? Remember? Yeah, like that's... That's that's the only thing I was thinking of out loud soap dish was like I he's got them but like the whole fight is like okay I use I use Gale and then you know that's not a art um but by the time Altina even gets to use something um like I'm I'm looking at this of like okay what what would be good to remove um Everything in the court slots gives strength the ring. Yes, like I, I, I am thinking that all. But maybe if we can come to come to something. Like all I, to be fair, all I lost was three speed. That's it. So like I, you know, I can only put a a a, a black one here. So it's either um, gain a, a a a magic. Um. Of nightmare. I use cast rather than action on my arts users. Hmm. How about but how about this? How about action and cast? Wouldn't that be uh wouldn't that be it? Wouldn't that be the bee's knees? It would be nice, but not enough court slots. Oh, you got that's right. Did you did you get you built a new PC, right, uh, Jeff? What did you what did you throw in that bad boy? Because I use bells instead of action. Okay, maybe it's again we're we're early on, even though it's sixty hours in. Maybe just wait until we get a few new things. Obviously, we received information about a cryptid here. We can leave via the East Highway. Shall we get going? My goal is to be noticed by uh, chat GPT, like my heroes. I'm surprised my son is sleeping so long, he must have been tired. Uh, you will start finding bells in the crossbell chapter. Wait, but this is a crossbell game. Are we, are we getting there? We'll find them eventually. I built an AMD 5600X MSI B550 Tomahawk motherboard, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and a GeForce 3060. Nice. Very nice. I'm jelly of that motherboard, though. And your RAM. Although those are two things like I would like to upgrade. Did you get a, a, a 3060 Ti or just uh, the normal 3060? I just got the normal 3060. I'm very happy with it as well. Now I have to start the monitor search of, uh, I want to get some 1200, maybe 27 inches. Um, okay. Very nice. You probably have the exact same one. I have the MSI 3060. I have a, I have a, I have a pre-built MSI PC, but, uh, no, no complaints. Knock on wood. It's been very good to me. The cryptid was spotted on a swamp. Oh, God, was this Dark Souls? I was given an Alienware PC by my brother. Nice. Everyone's getting nicely gifted out here. It's very nice. Sounds like it's time for DJ to start getting into some uh, PC gaming. Similar to mine, I'm a 3060X and uh, Aorus Elite X570, 32 gigs of RAM, and a 2080 Super. Yes, I, I think Wolf Slayer has a 2080 Super, which is... Probably just a little bit more powerful than our 3060, but obviously, you know, I've seen seen depending on what the, which ways. But that's a that's a great card too. That's a great card too. I had 64 gigabits of RAM, but the RAM I originally had was bad. Ah, oh, you gotta get the streaming room all done. Okay, makes sense. And I have additional information from Chief Plato. 
you don't want to be sticking your dick in that. Oh, see, I mean, like, for me, like, um, DJ, I, I think it's just the, the beauty of having it all in one room is where it's at. Like, I mean, I only have, I have the PlayStation, I have the Switch right here that are hooked up. I could have up to three uh, hooked up with my splitter and everything on top of the PC for streaming console games. It's been a while, but like I said, I want to start, I want to play Bloodborne again. I, I, there's lots of games. I got to play Persona Strikers. I want you on there. Speak for yourself. I like a little danger in my life, right? Randy said there was a cryptid nearby that looked like some kind of carnivorous plant thing. I know that's the same one. Remember the lake? Yeah, but we should still keep on our toes. So what you're telling me there, Soapy, is you'd be sticking it in there. You'd be, you'd be, is it no, is it no dogging it? Is it hot dogging it? Ra raw dogging it. That's it. You'd be raw dogging that carnivorous plant. We'll be proceeding straight down the road. Shouldn't take too long on a bike, thankfully. But sounds good. Let's wrap up before the end of the day. See, this is the problem. You get into a new area and they want to zoom on through with it on a bike. I'm not interested in missing rocks that I can beat up with my sword. So I'm just going to leave it there and we'll we'll run down there. Right? How, like, look, look, there's a lot of things that we can get involved in with. And I don't want to miss those things. And you miss those things if you go on a bike. And I don't want to be dismounting every five seconds. So we're not going to. Look, there's people on a horse, for God's sakes. Keep your elbows in. Never break form, no matter what. Yep, yep. This guy's name is Wonder. That's uh, not a wonder anymore. Huh? Hello there, young man. Could you be interested in horseback riding? Why do you ask? I'm a coach in a riding club called Nines. And my coaching instincts tell me you have a way with horses. I wouldn't mind lending a fellow rider a horse or two. And as it happens, I've... Got my hands full with someone I'm catching that I haven't been able to give these horses due exercise. Well, I mean, if you aren't one of that, I'll take you up on that. We borrowed some horses. I don't need to ride horses either, okay? But thank you for the opportunity. That's glowing. Yeah! Ready! The Orcus Tower looks massive, even from here. That's what she said. The Rhineford building looks enormous, too. I'm pretty sure it retained all 16 floors that the IBC had. That makes it smaller than its headquarters, but still nothing to sneeze at. I hate the bikes and the horses. I, always, I I just feel like unless it's somewhere you've already been, and like you're just fast-tracking to get back to a certain place, and you've already picked up everything, and you don't need to fight or or you know grind out a, a couple levels, that I'm with you. Like... I don't get it. Like, you you introduced me to a new part on the highway. Not really new, but I mean new to us. And you want to zoom through it on, on motorcycles or horses? <laughs> now, outside of, what was it? Um, the one Jeff hates, I think. Gaius? Or he hates Machias. I can't remember. <laughs> Just joking. Um, the, the, Nord, the Nord area. That's pretty big. I could see why you'd want to have a horse. That's a giant ass area, but uh, that's what the turbo button's more, right? All right, let's take a picture. How about that? Send it off to Vivi. Vivi? Vivi? No, we're going to send it to her now, Green. Okay. So, Green. Hey, Vivi. Just wanted to give you a heads up that I'm sending you a photo, another dick pic. I'm your way. Let's see. Oh wow, nice. See, she likes it. I'll send you your reward. All right, so we got two rewards that are making our way over to us by uh, manana tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Everyone ready? Uh, yeah, wait, is, was everybody want head? Was everybody it's need head? My turn. The Fraggle Rock. Activate Fraggle Rock. 
You can't tell me that that's not what she says. It's Fraggle Rock. Like, I'm not. I will not. I will not take it any other way. Who will not dick pick from the Ashen Cheval? Right? Exactly. I, I'm so glad people are finally coming around on this type of stuff. All right. Uh, although, generally speaking, out loud, maybe just maybe. An opening. I'm gonna assume Kurt would not be interested job, in a Luna. penis. Hmm. I guess I wasn't bad. I'm just gonna take a stab in the dark at that one. Our chance to attack. You can't escape. Fire! Do you think it? Do you think it's uh, it's, it's long turn. and leans to the left? I think so. Second form, Gale. I was a I was a, a betting man. Yes. Understood. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent work, everyone. We mm. did it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. What do we get in here? Oh, just more all experience multipliers. That's it. Treasure located. Indeed. <gasps> Chrono Drive. Ah. I think someone has a Chrono Drive on, but not the R version of the Pirates. Ah, uh, I think it's her. No. Shit. Oh, I think she has Chrono Drive from one of her, her arts, though. No. Someone? Why did I think someone had that? I am wrong. Yeah! I'll show no mercy. Well, we weren't expecting you to show mercy, yeah. but uh, you know, like you're not Uncle Jesse from Full House. It's, it's mine. This is it. What did that poor jellyfish on land do to you? Like, why did we? Why did we have to go this route? Very well. These poor things are getting their speed brought down. They don't deserve that either. Ah, uh, strike! My turn. And you and you broke them. You broke them too. Activate Fraggle Rock. Destroy. I just love that it's Fraggle Rock. Bring it back. Did anybody else watch Fraggle Rock, or am I am I showing my my Zoomer age again? If not, I think it's on YouTube. Go watch it. They're hilarious. Sit, sit. Yeah, sit. Huh. Everyone ready? Old Muppets type of thing. Second form, Gale. Now. I think Lothars was all over that show when he was a kid. All right. I'm trying to figure out what everyone's like age is here. So like, you know. Good smash right there. Complete smash, right? Very well. And then it's good as well, like like for that advantage purpose of get getting Kurt out in front. Huh. This thing wants one? to attack him, wants to suck his blood. My older sister loved Fraggle Rock. How could you not? I think I had a, a it's always those things of like when you're when you're young, you don't even think about it, but like um I think I had like one of the one or two of them as uh like plushies a zero fart order um all these things would be really good break damage i think would be something wonderful to use right now I only reach three of them eh? I was all about Mr. Dress Up as a kid. Yeah, another good show. Of course. An opening. What was the What was the kids? It's my turn. Hey, was it Casey? 
unmasked dress up? I want to say it was Casey. Second form. Damn! There was another one later, but I can't remember what the second one was. I shall go. Let's go. Ha! Yeah, Casey was the puppet. Wasn't there another puppet like they added in later? Timmy, maybe? Tommy? I'm just like talking out of my butt, though. I don't really know, but I just remember Casey. Sit, sit. Yeah. Let's regroup. Oh, what? Well, how did that happen there? A dog. An opening. You just whack that thing for 6,000 of a critical hit. Well, you're going to hope he doesn't do that again. Ah, the good old Coco Crush. It's my turn! You can't escape! Fire! Now. It's funny, I, 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 I saw a tweet from Game Over Greggy. So he never realized, like, yeah, I guess you have to have, like, a, a, a young, young kids to know know about this. Um, but, like, he never knew that um, Daniel Tiger was, um, Very well. a, like, a Mr. Rogers, that's his son's show. Um, like, he never knew that and realized, like, so, like, now that he is a young child, he's like, oh, like, it all makes sense of, yeah. like, why some things were very similar. Ah, uh, you can't reach him, Reen. Oh, well. Sit. Your Kurt has 86% evasion. You were busy slashing with the sword and it linked set up. Yeah, that, that looked like I saw it. I got a little screwed there, but that's okay. Yeah. I shall go. I'm up. Like at this point in time, or at your point in time, obviously at, at, at game time. I mean, I remember like late game in in Azure or Zero, one of the two. Like I remember, I remember Lloyd Lloyd Banning's having something like 110 percent. It's my um like evasion. Like we, it was a great way to build him at that point. Let's go. I'd, I'd do that again for sure. An opening. Yeah, smacking those guys for for that. They are they are done. He's not gonna do enough damage for me. Now. My turn. Ha! I can go take a Is quick pee. I'll be right back.
Thank you for patience. One of my farts users also has a 100% chance to crit with offensive, you know, that's going to come off as smelly. Soap dish, that is going to come off as smelly, but it probably would work. So, you know, I can see why you would want to do that. But, so that's always like the, I don't want to say like the end game, like type of build people do and work towards. Like, I mean, like I was really guided the last game uh, with, you know, this is how we, this is how you build lore to basically murder everything, right? Like I never look too much into that. I always ask you guys for, for obvious advice or if you guys have some good drops and of like, hey, why don't you put this, this and this on so-and-so? It'll work well. I'm always putting that stuff on. But I'm going to try to sort of go away from, oh, God, um, something like that as game breaking as what Laura was in the previous game. Just because it, it's as fun as it was for me to do so, it, it sort of isn't fun to play the game where everything is dead in, you know, a hot minute, right? My turn. Charging. Let's go. The Master Quartz combo is Diva Main Virgo Sub Master gives 100% crit with offensive spells. It's nice. Wide open. An opening. Good job, Yuna. Hmm, I guess I wasn't bad. A little twirl of the hair and itch of the ear. I mean, maybe, again, it's just me, like, thinking out loud, but I think this game for sure gives out way more, not Sepeth, but, um, it hands out, like, as, um, spit it out, Jordan, you'll get there, uh, quartz. I feel like you're, you know, it's giving, it's giving you far more quartz in the, at the end of a battle than you would normally would get. Um, I have a feeling that that's going to lead towards that. Could be wrong. Nope. I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah. I'll show no mercy. And I like I like the 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 double up of like uh, you know here's here's some here's some double ups of the the master courts the sub courts. It's, it's nice to throw in there and, and get for sure. I didn't want you to murder them. Jeez Louise. Let's go. Ha! All right. Nice work. Poor things didn't even have a chance. An opportunity to live their life. You know, maybe even out see retirement. We'll live down in Florida or Arizona. So it's a shame. Ha, yeah. it's these Let's four salamanders or whatever the hell you want to call them. And, and, you know, they have their friend of their friendly bear in the back, you know, like. Uh, strike. I shall go. I am. That'll work out well. It's my turn. I won't even need it because Gale will probably nail it, all of them. But. Let's go, everyone! All the day. Understood. 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 Sit. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent work. That's a everyone. lot of death that just it. happened right there. Oh, you're okay. Sit. Yeah. Look at all those raccoons just out to have some fun too, right? Mm. You can't escape. Fire! My turn. Your turn. It's always your turn. 
the nail. Yeah, sure. Great. Never thought Fraggle Rock would lead into a, a bunch Let's of go. delays, but uh, here we are. Everyone okay? I feel like we need someone who uses a gun. We did. Lower the excitement level there. A dark angel. Rents death blow, delay, and vanish. Hmm. This isn't really a better thing at the moment until... Till you till you realize it that you're fighting some some monster that just does that every time you're like, well, shit. Go put that on. I'll show no mercy. Second like form? the video game, no mercy. Like, is that what we're talking about? Or it's down. Is anyone buying the AEW wrestling game? I can't remember what it's called. Fight Forever, I think it is. Like I, I keep hearing some 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 slight rumors that like it literally might be out soon. Uh, strike! Now, here I go. Ah! I shall go. Man, I know we got some wrestling fans in here, but I'm on. I haven't played a wrestling game Target in forever. Like, Move out. I couldn't like, I've never played the 2K games, except for, like, maybe at a friend's house and never went on ball. And the last, like, game, wrestling game I bought was probably, like, one of the Smackdowns back in the day. Huh. Enemy found. Begin suppression. Second form. Damn! Now! It's mine! Here I go! Set! Striker! My turn. My turn. Charging. You just sat on her. It's my turn. One of the rudest things you can do. How dare you? Let's go. Yeah. Eight down. I'll assist. An opening. Getting dummied there, bud. Let's go. Huh. Everyone okay? What would be the 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 quartz that would allow? I think it was. I think it was soap to ship. I said it would probably be a cast, right? She's certainly taken a long time to Sit. put out a cast. Along the tooth. Arcus activate. Yeah, go, look how long it takes her to do that. That is forever. Crimson Slash! It's down! It's mine! It's my turn! You can't escape! Cast 3 reduces Art's activation by 33%. Yeah, that'll probably be Let's the go. direction we're going to have to look at going, obviously. Uh, there. Ah. Don't, hit, don't hit people. It's rude. Haven't you learned? Hey. Now, of course, when she does get her opportunity, she's probably going to make it rain, but... Let's go! My turn. Definitely need cast courts for card users. Yeah. There. Battle complete. Let's continue. Well, twirl. Who doesn't mind that stuff? There's a school of fish. There. Got a bite. This is promising. Not bad at all. Snakehead. Here I go. Let's see if you're any better. Uh, there. I got one. What? 
Oh, I hate I just hate that it resets this entire thing. Just go back to the wheel. As if, like, oh, geez, I, I missed the wheel, so I'm not going to fish anymore. Give me a break. <laughs> I did it! Let's go! I have ever fished with Kurt. There. Got one. Feels like a big one. Yes, I did it. A green marijuana. My turn. Casting. You ever feel like she would just cast one day and get it stuck in her hair? Mission oh, failed. that'd be disastrous. Casting. Bite received. Heavy tension on the line. I guess fishing, we're doing well. I mean, we got all the the the. The expected result. We got everything added on it to make it worth our while. Oh, are you kidding me? You threw in these guys back up here while we were fishing? Brace yourself. What a ridiculous notion. Now! It's mine! This is it! Here I go! That poor guy didn't ask to get broken. He didn't ask for any of this. Let's go! Yeah. I shall go. There. Nope. Nope. I love how she just says that out loud. Nope. An opening. Huh. Is that all? Well, if you, you really, Kurt can catch you really off guard there. Like how good he is and what the capabilities of what he could be. I'll show no mercy. Activate Fragorak. Destroy. Should probably heal. Let's probably go. Be a good opportunity. Second form. Gale. Here I go. Just got some heal. Uh... Let's go. Uh, I have a block. Jeez, where has the time gone? Let's go. To be fair, his master quartz that makes Kurt good. You can put the same quartz on someone else and get a similar effect, but it just wouldn't be the same, though, right? It's my turn. I'm up. Yeah. More hostiles. There we go. Yeah, more hostiles indeed. My turn. All right. Mm. Activate Fragorok. Destroy. Very well. Ah, strike. All right. Ah! An opening! It's my turn! Sit! Alright, nice work. I think I've just, uh... Just come back to this swamp... tomorrow. It's gonna be dinner time, so I'll murder... Is no. that a collapsed ruin? Yeah. They're all over the place. Oh, murders this dinosaur. There's remnants of an ancient battlefield. Another just day. Over the Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end the stream there. Almost the dinner time. I'm hungry. More rich than I uh, we'll be having streams all week, though. So, uh, unless this dinosaur decides to murder me, which I'm hoping he won't, just doesn't notice me. Uh, thank you all for coming on. It was an absolute pleasure. Um, oh, God, here he comes. Our chance to attack. Now we have to put him out of his misery. Activate That's fine. We'll do so. We're going to bounce out. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, as always. As Kenny Omega says, time. Where are we? Are we going somewhere together, Soap Dish? I'm unaware. 
We're on vacation this week. I'm not going anywhere. It's just like a staycation. Like, you know, I just have too much time off at work. So, oh, what is what? As Kenny makes this time for me to say goodbye and good night. Bang. I'm out. Bye. See you later. We're catch up tomorrow. Metal Gear might be finished. So keep that in mind. Bye bye, everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, 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 indeed.